Bio Nation. I hope you're doing well tonight. My name is Matt Williamson. And my name is Zachary Simpkins. And you're watching Married Ecology Sports. So guess what? We have more Valorant for you this week. I love watching Valorant. Yeah. I think we put out something that was supposed to be Smash today, so that's that's my bad. I, if you were hoping for Smash Brothers, I do apologize, but it is Valorant. Uh, we are going to be going up against Concordia University, Ann Arbor, Michigan. We're already in lobby, so we're probably going to be starting up very soon. So let's go over who's going to be playing today. So you can go to Valorant. Yep. And, and we're going to be yeah, seeing let's the go Ross 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 thing. So we have playing here... Uh, freshman Levi Gregory Taku. Uh, in the first map, we'll have uh, sophomore Octavia Pedro on critical miss playing. Uh, sophomore Tyler Rich Bob's playing. Senior Tyler Sanitra Spicy Cilantro playing. And sophomore Ian Juanas McLovin playing. And our head coach Derek Hughes. And we're running. already starting up. We're on defending. Oh. Now, the, 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 green, the green one. We're, we're, the green yeah. one, yes. We, yeah, are, we are, are defending first. There we go. It should be popping up any second. There, there we, we go. Are. We'll be seeing here our first map here is Bind. I love watching some Bind maps. You get to see basically Rain, sorry. It basically, Raze is a must pick on this map. We're gonna see both Raze's coming out here already. We have a KJ selected on the side of Concordia. Uh, we're actually gonna be attacking here first, not defending. So I'm gonna swap oh, that over real button. quick. Okay. So at the moment, yeah, we're gonna be attacking real quick. It's gonna be Mick Lovin looking to be on that omen. The machine locking the machine, we know as KO. It's gonna be interesting. And there we see the Rays. Both teams are gonna be picking it here on bind, very close range map. So you're gonna be seeing both teams playing very, maybe somewhat rat styles is usually how this map goes. We're gonna see a lot of control for Hookah on B site and a lot of control for um, this A short. Um, we're going to see Egg going to be picking this Brimstone here. I love Brimstone. Brimstone is by far my favorite controller, second to Harbor. He is my number one. Now, so we're going to be seeing... Now, an interesting pick here is that Bob's is actually agent. bringing out the Phoenix instead of Reyna. I do remember on some... A little bit of going into the VOD review that they had on their last match, they see that playing Reyna... And yes, Reyna is good, but it's kind of like only really good in rank. Because in team play, Reyna relies on getting a kill. And in team play, usually as the duelist, you are going and getting a kill and instantly dying. Reyna goes into the thing where she's gonna go in, get a kill, get her, um, and she can't make any space other than getting a kill, which is kind of bad. Based on Phoenix, when he can make space with a flash, with his molly, with his wall that is able to cut off vision and also make it so enemies that push through it get hurt. We're going to be seeing Critical Miss on his favorite KO here. We're going to see Spicy Cilantro on the KJ. Really good KJ setups here. Usually going to be seeing um, the KJ going to be playing in B. We're going to be seeing an Omen going for the only smokes on Marietta's side. And I don't like this pick. Honestly, I don't. Omen is a very aggressive operator. Usually played with multiple... Uh, with either another controller so just an omen here he's going to be having to do a lot of work here when on the other hand concordia playing these yeah. 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 playing yeah. these uh this brimstone is going to have a lot plus. a of um control over here you see the machine that that is not working. Is there air on the air? It doesn't seem to be working. That's fine. Let me see what's going on here. Got to do some troubleshooting. Spike down. Okay, we're just going to see Nath like getting two kills here. Playing very close. Gets a third. And that's going to be a fourth. We'll see an ace in the first round from Concordia. Nathic is going to be hunting it down. And there's the ace on the first round. That's. That's very aggressive. I will have to say, for Concordia. I'm not sure what happened there because the buttons seem to be working correctly. Now they're working now. Okay, well, we're going to roll with it. Okay. Everything looks good. It's, uh, it's, it's a little bit misshapen in there. Even though it's close though, we just have to press it twice. There we, there we go. go. So it should be shaping up now again. So that first round really get exploded. I couldn't really see what was going on sadly, but what I did know is that the round ended very quickly with Concordia just getting five. Shadows so now we're going to see Nick Lovin slowly pushing up short here. Going to be rotating back to be long while his team is going to be taking in all the space critical miss. Slowly looking up with bubs. 
Bubs. It's gonna be the first contact here. Push you know. As he goes, sends out a molly to back site. It's gonna be pushing in. And there's the Kage set up, gonna be taking a lot of damage, and that's gonna be Critical Miss going down. And that's gonna be Taku also going down. That's gonna be a spike going out of hands. That's just gonna be round number two. They get a pick, but Bubs can't get much more. That's a, an eco round, honestly, getting one kill there is really good, but we saw that the KJ setup just absolutely microwaved them. There was absolutely no way they were gonna run through that point. So, a little bit of a lag. It should be spike. good in just a second here. Maybe. Slight technical difficulties. I think it's the computer. I think the computer is... Oh, there we there go. We okay, go. We're good. Oof. And through the magic of time, we now or see the rest of the game. We're starting to get some networking issues. We are getting some networking issues. Hello, Raider. First time chat. Good to see you. Um, yeah, it's just gonna reset for a second here. Alrighty. I think we might have been some networking issues, but now we are okay. We're back in here. here. Okay, I press a button, nothing explodes. That's good to know. Yeah, we, we're okay. We're, we're here. We're there good. needs to be a split push here through short and through shower. We're gonna be seeing flash come out from Bubs. Bubs is gonna be trying to explode on the site. Spence is cilantro spamming the smoke. Taku has a great timing here. Gets a smoke down on him. McLovin takes damage. They know that Taku is here now. He has to push in. We can see Critical Miss pushing in on site. There's going to be bubs going down. Nathlip is going to get a pick on Critical Miss. Taku doesn't have the range to do anything. Egg gets a pick on McLovin. Down and is left to Spicy Cilantro. See if it wins to go. Spicy Cilantro slowly lurking with this. At the moment, this is their full buy. They haven't got a single pick. This is really bad. There's one. There's two. Making it big, making a showing, spicy cilantro right before this Reina might just blind him. Grenade. Thirty seconds left. Kills that. There's a little bit of a long range door here. That's gonna be spicy cilantro shut down by Concordia. Yeah, it's just difficult when you have those one v five situations. But uh, spicy cilantro did make the best he could, taking down a couple, so that can affect your economy a little bit. But Mary is still gonna be struggling in this round if we kind of look at the the loadouts. We've seen a lot of very low buys here. They have to eco this round so they can buy next. But we're going to see an operator coming out on the end of Concordia. This is where the snowball starts this rolling for Concordia snowball. here. When you have this operator, you can just get so much easier picks on these eco rounds. We're going to be seeing a slight split here through Hookah and through Long. This raise is just going to try to eat up McLovin here. Let's see. Slowly pushing him with the stinger here. He's at the range disadvantage. So it's going to be very hard for him to do anything. Turn over to Bubs. Bubs slowly pushing up along. Give able to take this space for relatively free. They don't exactly know that they're here. So with that, you see Bubs. You know, smokes are coming out. That's big. Bubs does not know about this alarm bot. That's going to be a big pick. Big first pick. That's going to be a swing out. The alarm bot gets put out, and there is this big rush coming in. But it's going to be Suave's... I can't really pronounce it, but KJ is going to be taking out McLovin. Why is they're doing that? And Bubs is going to go try to go all the way in the back to lurk around as the Resumerator is taking sight. Taku gets a big pick. Now it's even. Guns are getting picked up here, and that's uh, gonna be another kill going on the end of Spicy Cilantro. The operator's trying to deal with Spicy Cilantro, he gets him down, and that's gonna be a 4k for the Concordia's KJ. Taku was not able to hold the line. That's gonna be relatively good for that eco round. You really get a lot of good picks there. It looked like they were gonna win that thrifty. I, uh, Bubs just really needed to get a Vandal in his hands for him to do any work. That's the thing, I, I, I think that Marietta wasn't quite fighting for. They weren't fighting for those guns. The guns were there on the ground, but they weren't really fighting for that position to go and grab them. Hello, Goofy L, first time chat. We've seen Valorant here. We're going to see a shower push coming through here for Marietta. We'll be seeing Concordia doing a 2-3 split. This KJ on B has been an absolute menace, holding down the fort. And this brims, these brimstone smokes are just vastly superior to the omen smokes that we're going to be seeing. Not based on their placement, but on their duration. 
slowly peeking up here. We're going to see Critical Miss is going to be the first one on the line here for Marietta. Bubs trying to take this space. He knows that he needs to get the orb is going to go off, so the smokes are going to go. One into heaven. You one be short. And there is going to be the attacker KJ going down, trying to clear off sight. But that's going to be instantly shut down by the rays, and this could be massive! Not quite getting one yet. With that all, shoots it, misses completely. And that's going to be a swing. He sees four people, and Concordia is running. Out of showers, giving up that control, and it's gonna be critical that's trying to get something done with it, but then gets tagged by a null knife. You see a lot of fighting happening here, short, trying to cross. Bugs? Okay, so they wall short, and they're gonna be rotating straight over to B, but this KJ has just been sitting on B side the entire time. This is gonna be such bunker down, and also the rotates are coming in as well. As soon as this turret goes off, that's Come gonna be the key for the KJ to shoot. KJ's gonna peek. Hit all of our alarm bots, gonna be peeking in. Bubs is not gonna be able to get a pick with his ult. They're completely smoked off. Paco's planting with all of this commotion happening. He's gonna get the plant down. Bubs is gonna be able to get two. What an insane play. McLovin gets one more. It's now a 2v3 situation. It's just the brim. And Bubs cleans it up. What a great play there. Bubs got his ult online and knew he could be able to retake and get as much information as possible with that ult. That's how we love to see. All of we love to see that teamwork there with that ult. He got all the information and they were able to play off of that. And now we're gonna see the eco situation. We're gonna be seeing a little bit of like a mid buy, but still a big buy on both teams here. Actually, we're gonna see Concordia saving up a little bit. Wow, actually, that is their yeah, eco. That vandal you see on the KJ is their eco. <laughs> they buy any less, they're not buying enough. We see Bubs with the Operator. He picked it up last round. We've seen Spicy Cilantro, but then we're going to be seeing Bubs face at the moment. We're going to see he's not exactly live at the moment. We do get to see his beautiful smile. And even better, we're going to see his beautiful op plays. A Phoenix with an op is not seen very often. A little bit of shots fired here. You're going to see that. Oh, look at all these rat plays. We're going to see Meatball doesn't know that they're all here. And Meatball swings and gets picked off by Bubs. No knife is going to be going up there. Presence detected, of course. Everyone is going to be censored here, so they're not going to be able to use any of their Yucho critical miss. Going to be pushing in, making sure that Lambs is completely secure. And Taku gets it down. She's going to be walling afterwards here. And now this is a great position to be playing from. Knife deployed. Suppressed. Critical miss. Taku completely blind. Machine's gonna get a great kill. Taku had no idea where he was, was not able to back up. Critical miss is trying to almost get Molly out of here. McLovin gets a pick. And Critical miss gets one. Almost gets the second one, but that's gonna be KJ with the discipline of her aim. We will stop there. And Bubs is gonna be holding this down with an operator. Gets a pick. Can he get another? He's getting his headshot here. A lot of damage going in. She has to make sure not to lose this operator. Oh, and that's gonna be the brim, the shoulder peak. Gonna be able to stop him. He headshots him through it. I don't think they're gonna save the op here. Spicy cilantro, not even in a position to grab it. And that's gonna be the op loss, but the round one with both spicy cilantro and McLovin alive to tell the tale. We're gonna be seeing the eco situation at the moment, and we're gonna be seeing Concordia on. This is their last buy round. They have to win this round. If Concordia loses this round here. That's going to mean that they're going to be in the gutter for Eco this entire half. Unless they just keep winning and winning and winning in the row over and over again. We're going to see Taku here only being able to buy a Marshall. That's really going to be setting them back. We're going to be seeing Spice Cilantro going to be holding down this A control. While the rest of his team is going to be holding and slowly pushing up B long. B long pushing up here. Smokes are going to be going out relatively quick here. That's a little bit of a step almost being able to hurt. We're going to see rotates a 3-2 setup. They're running into a stack without their KJ. We're going to be seeing slowly. Make love and it's going to Cover wait. Going out. We're going to be seeing that Concordia is going to be rotating out as the smokes are coming out. The Bugs hits the ult. He's hitting the legs. He's going in. Bob's going to try to get as much information as possible. He sees one and gets one. What an amazing play there. And he's going to be able to see another KO right there in CT. Taku gets that plank down. We're going to be seeing a little bit of a lurk here in Elbow. The ult is good. Massive to be able to clear out all that KJ util. I didn't even really talk about that, but the ult usage there stopped all of that KJ util so he didn't have to worry about getting microwave. 
Bubs playing in a very aggressive angle here is going to be able to get mollied out or naded out even worse. Neither will happen. Bubs is sitting there waiting patiently. What a flash! That's three! Three to get flash. McLovin gets another kill, and we're going to be switching over Spice to Cilantro right here. McLovin doesn't quite get the kill. It's 3v1. That KO is just going to run and save on Concordia's side. Great plays here by Marietta. And with that round, their eco is looking a lot, lot better. And we're going to see Concordia's eco in the absolute gutter. The only gun down. they're going to have on their team Until is going then, to be that Vandal. Timeout starting in three seconds. We're going to see the first timeout being started here. Very interesting. That's actually the first timeout we've seen in a hot second. So about one minute for this timeout, they're going to be talking strategy, trying to get around like what is happening this round and how are we losing these rounds how can we eco better that's probably what they're going to be talking about is like how they can truly get their eco correct here on this eco round they're going to have to play together and they're going to have to play for picks here if they might have to gamble stack a site like stacking b site if they stack b site and if marietta goes to b site here while they're stacking it, this could lend them to get a gun, and when they get a gun, they can turn it. We see the gunplay of both of these teams are very, very on par with each other. So we're going to be seeing both teams trying to really fight this eco here. Marietta has to make sure not to give up these guns to Concordia, and make sure to take down the KO that has the only gun here. Timeout gone. We're starting straight back into it. We're going to be seeing the eco. As I said earlier, we're going to be seeing Concordia barely able to buy. They're going to be buying a bunch of stingers here, stingers and light shields, just so they can buy something the next round. A full buy on Marietta as they're going full Vandals this game, even though that since Bind is a smaller map, you usually want to be going with Phantoms, but they're also not playing with a really good smoke. They're playing basically for picks with this Omen. We're going to be seeing the R Gamble stacking. They're Gamble stacking A, but we're going to see that Marietta only has two people here, and they're truly just going for a B push. They're probably going to call that there's no turret here, or even better, we're going to be seeing some noise being made on A. They're going to hear a lot of shots being fired, and that's going to be Marietta walking onto site for relatively free. And that's going to be going site up. down. And that's going to be Spicy Cilantro giving up a gun to Concordia. Now they have two Vandals on their side, and it's a 4v5 situation. This is very, very winnable for Concordia. We're going to be seeing Rotate coming out here. TP being hit. They're all going to be going to Hookah here. Bubs. Slowly they're lining up together though. Taku is really not playing an angle that he needs to be playing here. Bubs is just gonna be looking somewhere else and then they drop into this uh, into the firing standing. range, but now it's only a 1v3, and it's gonna be only McLovin here to save the day, and he's nowhere to be found. He can't stop the plant! I mean the defuse! He's gonna try to get out with his life there. That was such a bad play by Marietta. They weren't set up in a cross. They were just stacked on top of each other there. Unable to play off of each other whenever one got picked, the other got gunned down. That is not what you want to see on that site when people are on a low buy. You want to stop them as they're going to be going out of hookah here. Only one person, actually two at that point on their team, had a Vandal to make a play. And now we're going to see that it's looking a little bit more even when it's 5-3 to three right now. Yeah, no, hindsight's 20-20, but they, it would have been better to spread out, use uh, cross angles. That way they can catch anywhere where Kokani came in. But yeah, being stacked up definitely came back to bite them. Especially when you have these... A low, a low eco guns like a stinger it just fires hundreds of bullets a second so if you're just in the way that's going to be where you're just going to be gunned down that's going to see an ult ready. point for bubs here is massive they're definitely going to engage with this phoenix ult as they have so many times if they get this site for free they could definitely win a critical miss here playing with fire he doesn't know that Meatball's up there. Joke's over. There's Look the ult there. being pushed. Don't worry, Bubs will find out who's there. And that's going to be so much damage being taken. Bubs is going to go out. No, he doesn't he clear the right side. Mind you this. And then Critical Miss is going to peek out and instantly get tapped. We're going to be seeing McLovin and the gang are going to just be rotating off site as quick as they can. Back to B they go, but there's this KJ setup. The KJ, the anchor of B, is just going to be holding it down. 
McLovin TPing on the side, trying to get that pick, but it's gonna get picked instantly by the KJ. There's no smokes down. That's gonna be the KJ going down by Taku. We're gonna be seeing spicy cilantro. As much as he can here, he's gonna be placing lineups on the bomb and is gonna be playing for Huka. Taku, that's a great res. We're gonna be seeing them both playing in a state that's very hard. A gets a kill on Bubs and Taku has his util out. McLovin gets out of there, tries to set up a cross, while well, the machine is going in. What a big blind by McLovin. Let's see. They don't know that he's here, and Spicy Cilantro gets the pick he needs. Spicy Cilantro playing very slow, very safe, making sure he can stop this plant here. He's not shooting in the right spot, and that's going to be him taken down by Meatball. Spicy Cilantro could not quite defend the spike. We see there that Taku really had his util being thrown a little bit too late there. If he wanted to throw that util, he should have thrown it as soon as the smokes went down to stop the enemy from even just kilometer, um, just being together near that smoke. So we're going to see here that util usage really needs to be advanced here if we're going to be able to go on, in on these rounds. seen here a little bit of a split push probably just making noise on a a little bit of noise on a just so B looks a little bit better we're gonna be seeing McLovin so we're going up here they hear the alt or being taken by the Phoenix you be throwing they're desperate for information you be throwing a boom button there they have it they know someone's lurking in shower they don't know how many they just know that there's one we see that Concordia is unwavering. They're not moving at all. They're holding these angles, thirsty for information, but not trying to peek anything. We're gonna be seeing Bubs taking this angle here right up front, flashes, trying to get them to spread out, but we see rotates going on to B site. And that's gonna be talking with an amazing pick here. We're gonna be seeing Marietta playing right here. McLovin gets another pick. It's now a 3v4 at the moment in the favor of Marietta. They're going to be rotating straight back to A site as Bubs and McLovin completely have it under their control. We're going to see Taku rotating through showers. McLovin knows. The machine knows he's here. He's not going to be contesting left. him, though. We're going to see if Taku can get the spike down, and there he goes. Planting it down right on the die circle. Defender KJ goes out there. McLovin swings and, goes and gets shut down instantly. We're going to be seeing Bubs. Playing right outside of this, getting tagged, can't use his molly or his flashes at the moment. We've seen the lurks him through, the turret comes through, Bubs with the pick onto the KJ. This wall is detrimental for Marietta. This wall completely stops him from being able to stop, but that's going to be Bubs. Going to be able to light him ablaze with his, uh, with his molly, and Bubs with the three piece is going to be able to get Marietta to the next round, six to four. That wall was very dangerous for Marietta there. Having that wall there means that Bubs had to rely on his game sense to be able to shoot that spot where he knew the spike was and that molly. If he didn't have that lineup right in his back pocket, that would have gone a different way. We're seeing the eco on rating right here. We're going to be seeing that Concordia is in dire straits when it comes to their eco, and it's going to be Marietta on a relatively full buy here. Again, we're going to see how Marietta can deal against this eco. This is a very important thing to be able to do. And we're going to be seeing him slowly peek out. Meatball is playing very close here with this Guardian. He's eking to swing. He's getting there. But Bob's nose. He hears a footstep. Going to be spamming it out. And then Uto is going to come out and be used here. And this is stop the advance of Bob's. We're going to see their old relatively stacked here with Taku with the spike, spicy cilantro, making some noise one point away from his alt. With this alt, we're definitely going to be able to see him. Able to lurk up here. If he gets this pick, he's instantly popping this alt. And is going to be able to take sight with deadly speed. Bubs throws... Oh no, there's going to be a smoke going up to Hookah. If I pick up a heaven, I swing out, kills a bot, critical miss sitting here, knows he has his finger, and going to shoot him down! What a crossfire! Great, now they're going to explode on the site, that's going to be a nade, and a raise ult! They have to scatter like flies, critical miss gets down as the plant goes off. Bub's slowly lurking here, 
We've seen Taku trying to hold down the line. Taku's gonna get one tapped here. And now it's only, it's a 3v4 at the moment in the favor. Oh, good corner. Yeah, it's gonna be Bugs. Gets the timing, gets another kill! This is massive, he has his own popping it! Gonna be running in, gets another pick, but gets shot in the back, and there he's going down, and it's left to Spicy Cilantro to be able to hold it off. Spicy Cilantro, you're gonna be playing slow, not gonna overswing, but there's gonna be the chaos swinging right onto him, and he gets the pick with three health left! Six to five at the moment in this half! Last One round, round away switch. from the second half. What an amazing clutch from Spicy Cilantro with three health to remain. And Concordia and Arbor burned quite a few alts that round and still lost. So they're not going to have anything going into I mean, if you take a look at the alt points, Cilantro has his ultimate ready. We see that uh, McLovin almost has something ready, but there's not going to be any alts available cool. for Concordia for this survive. critical round. Definitely no. And we're going to see here that if they get Taku an ult orb and a kill, Taku's going to be able to have this res online. He's going to be able to really bring back and tip everything into his favor. Seeing the wonders of Valorant with the knife flipping here. Maybe seeing Bubs sitting here, going to be holding this angle. He's the, just the tip of the raises head, and the nade goes in. And critical miss is going to get gunned down, talking with a pick. What an amazing cross he's playing there. And that's going to mean the raise is going to have to go back. He's going to be able to wall it off. Watch your eyes. Taku, after getting this plant down, is going to be able to have enough for this res. You see Taku really needs to try to get this res down, but he's not going to be able to go for it in hookah. Maybe the best thing. Going to be swapping back to Bubs here. His POV. He's going to be holding on the fort here. The only one really playing on site. They have the. They don't quite have their KJ set up. Uh, here the smokes are going to go down. The flashes go out. There's the flash. Doesn't get anyone. Bubs is going to be able to go down here. We're going to be seeing Taku holding this down. Has the res. It gets pinged. Will he be able to shoot it out? Doesn't shoot where he needs to shoot. Concordia is just holding it. And that's going to be Concordia with the next round. As they're going to. Marietta's just be able to get shut out there. Switching sides. They're not able to shoot directly at where the spike is being placed there. If they're able to gun him down through that smoke, it's way better for them, but they just can't. And now we're going to be going on to the next round. This next half is going to be big. This is actually where I believe the comp of Marietta shines. They're going to be having this KJ and the KO with this Sage. They're running two Sentinels and... KO as that initiator. So at the moment, they don't really have a lot of explosive power, but what they have lacking in explosive power, they have in stopping power. They're going to be able to stop people from just rushing onto these sites with this wall, with the wall we see here from Taku and the KJ setup we're going to be seeing on B here. We're going to be seeing a little bit of a better, different microwave setup here on B site for Marietta. Be going over here because it seems that is going to be a very interesting spot here. A split push. Alarm bot. She's going to be able to get tagged. Alarm bot down. Alarm bot Alarm down. Waiting out. for the pulls. Th Throws a nano storm. Turret's but no destroyed. one's quite there yet. Turret is destroyed. And that's all the KJ util gone within the first couple seconds of the round. And now we're going to see critical miss. Getting naded out here, doesn't quite know where to go. Has his pistol out. Waiting for the rotates. Having to play sight as long as he can. The molly goes out, he hears a lot of footsteps. Throws up the knife as the brim jumps on top, and that's gonna be two Spike kills down. for Marietta. Third comes out, and behind you, but that's gonna be even. Concordia is gonna be making it even here, now we're gonna be going over to Spicy Cilantro, who's right now smoked off. Both McLovin and Spicy planted. are smoked off and slowly making their way into a crossfire here. McLovin playing this corner to hear footsteps from the attackers, and that's going to be what a timing there. That's going to be machine taking down McLovin. McLovin with the right click to me take down Meatball. All the damage we saw being done there in that round by everyone on site there is going to be able to be the quintessential part oh, no, that no. allows Marietta to win that round. We're going to see Omen. Uh, McLovin is going to be able to get that right click that usually wouldn't kill there unless he got a triple right click, which. That would be crazy if you got a triple right click there, and my classic does not do that. In here, we're going to see Marietta pushing their advantage, as you usually do on this round. McLovin completely buying out. 
seeing a beautiful KJ set up going in here, stopping anyone from Hookah being able to push out. Now we're going to be able to see a 2-3 setup, 3 on A, 2 on B, the KJ being able to hold this down, puts an alarm bot long, and we're going to be seeing a wall coming out here from Taku, they're not going to break it instantly, same with a smoke, you hear a lot of footsteps, and that's going to be Concordia rotating in the shower with the spike on Reyna. See, again, KJ's just been able to lurk here mid, not really contested, and Brimstone going to be lurking over to B short. An A short. There's the nade to clear anyone's shower. They've given up their position, but now let's see if Bubs can hold them off. Let's see. They need to throw more. any utility here out. They get, know that there's one. They're going to be slowly pushing. There's going to be a flash coming in here from Bubs. He's waiting. Slow, patiently. So slowly. Gets one. It seems that there's one. Taku with a great play there. It's going to be mauling off showers. Taku with two. Taku's going crazy here in B short. Be able to hold off his wall. Can be healing himself back up here. What an amazing defense from Taku here. And that's what I say by two Sentinels make this so much better. And again, Marietta has not rotated off B yet. 30 and seconds now, left. Here it is, A main. Taku doesn't quite know where to look. Sees the raise. Does he wake up the kill? Is it quite moving? But gets a kill on Spike Drea. Spicy Cilantro rotating off. It's going to be on Bubs here. Bubs is playing very aggressive here. Knows there's one still lurking or could be lurking. Doesn't quite see him. The timing on this is insane. Being left. able to have walls is one just insane. That's going to be critical. This getting that blood down and Bubs getting the pick on the machine. Only one going down there. And even then, Taku got two kill, three kills that round. With the 3k, his eco is actually good enough that he can still buy this round. That is awesome, even though that his team is going to be going on this save. Taku probably going to be going around here with the Spectre. Yep, just to be able to match up with his team. That's going to be the bonus for Marietta. Wow. Uh, we're going to be seeing Concordia on a full buy. But again, they have to win this round. If Marietta is able to win this round with their Spectres, they're going to completely push their advantage and shut down Concordia in this half. Right now, we see it very even. We're going to see a Cage set up being moved over to A. And we're going to be seeing a very explosive fight going out here on B side with Critical Miss holding. He hears the flash go out long. Bubs and Critical Miss are going to have to just hold down the line. No YouTube can be used. They're getting naded. And that's going to be Critical Miss going down and Bubs going down. What an explosive start with that raise. That is why she's played on this map for that absolutely explosive nature she has. And lobs out her second name to stop the rotates coming in so quickly. McLovin has this paranoia that's going to be very essential for this. They need to take Vandals away from Concordia and do damage to their eco. Blind coming out here. Blinding. There's a blind. Doesn't quite hit anyone. They don't know what this raise is. People just push through. Taku gets a pick on the raise. Spicy Cilantro on the KJ. McLovin doesn't quite know what the raise is, but gets a pick. And we've seen one playing long. Chasing him down, an egg is going to shut down McLevin, but it's a great round for Marietta. Being able to get that many Vandals away from the hands of Concordia is amazing for them. We've seen here on the eco again, Concordia, half of their team cannot buy. And with this, or being put down to zero credits, and with this again, they're going to have to play very slow or buy their teammates. So again, everyone is at absolutely no funding at the moment. Going back out here, Critical Miss. We're going to be holding here, but we're going to see an explosive fight coming up here on A. Taki with this wall. Here's a lot of footsteps. Going to be able to put this wall up quickly before the Reyna comes any closer. It's very dangerous here. Playing this close with the Reyna. Breathing down your neck, but she doesn't know. Taku has no idea he is about to get pushed by three people. Showers have been taking control. This is so deadly. The wall goes up. He's able to fall back down just in time. Team here. McLovin's gonna be able to hold on the line, smokes it off. He has the Phantom and is in the range here. We're gonna be seen. Nafa pushes out, kills Bob. Taku's gonna go down. McLovin with the flash. He's gonna even get his showers pushed in. His lamps, he's trying to play in here. He's gonna get mollied out by the KJ. KJ swings up, but he's gonna be able to win that trade. Now it's 3v4 after having 3v2, 4v2 even. 
But it's just a lock that is not there, standing. and that's going to be Critical Miss going down. Spicy Cilantro on this Lurk, was on B, now on A. Has to get as many guns away from Concordia as he can. Slow as he goes. And that's going to be the Brim going down first. Doesn't see the one heaven. Peeks in, the flash goes out, the nade goes out, and that's going to be Cilantro falling down with a util usage of Concordia, just going to be able to overwhelm him. Very close first game so far with 9-7. to seven. Haven't really seen something like this in a moment when, when streaming these games. So we're going to be able to see the eco. Now we're going to see Marietta on this low by when they're 9-7 to seven at the moment. Just four rounds away from losing if they lose four in a row. But they are very close in regards to winning. This is going to be an all-out battle for these teams to be able to pick up this W for the first map. And I think what's gonna be critical here is the Cilantro doing pretty well. 11 10 2 has his ultimate ready, so this is gonna be a very important round for him to be able to utilize his uh, ult. Usually on this round, since you're in such a low eco, I don't think you want to use your ult here because you can't capitalize off That's of it. That's true, yeah. Unless you have guns here, which at the moment, Meatball's going to be shutting down Bubs. Same with Taku. They're just going to be exploding on the site with not much they can do here. This double duelist comp is really putting them behind here. That's going to be the KJ. No one's going to be able to trade her out. The flash goes out and blinds everyone. McLovin tries to swing by himself. Going to get put down by the Brimstone. Spicy Cilantro oh, trying to spam, but then gets put down through the smoke. And that's going to be a flawless round for Concordia. That miss flash there from Critical Miss really put a hurting on his team there. With them not being able to do anything, and that's going to be a timeout starting game scrum. That's going to be a timeout Marietta. So at the moment, let's give a rundown of what is the next game plan here. So at the moment, we saw the eco round not quite go the way of Marietta. They kind of just accidentally threw it away. They weren't stacked together, so they couldn't play off of each other as well. We saw that Bubs and Taku were able to just instantly fall as soon as the double duelist comp of Concordia pushed onto site. This Raze and this Reyna are absolutely explosive. If you don't have um, a util on site that can stop them from just running in willy-nilly, they're going to have a field day, yeah. as we see. I mean, we're seeing like the, the Raze is at 17-10-3, has the ultimate ready. We could very well expect to see that being popped this round. Marietta does have four ultimates for themselves. So we'll see how they're going to utilize it because they only have a couple rounds left before it gets to match point. So if they're going to get back to this, we've seen this in previous games where maybe they're trying to maximize the value of their ultimates, but then they don't use them at all. So this is the time where they need to start not worry about getting the most value, but utilize them to secure rounds. Yes, at the moment I see that we're going to be seeing a Phoenix ult here. One of the win cons of this composition is going to be Phoenix ult. You're able to Phoenix ult, get so much information, and then bait out so much util based on that. And he's just going to be able to run down the team willy-nilly and get the picks that he needs. We see him playing close here, but I'm going to see that it's going to be a B push on the side of Concordia. And we're going to see all through the TP to be able to push on the site. Going to be doing a lot of damage on the two. Able to get healed up here. See the defense, the alt to stop them. As we were saying, the alts, they knew which ones Something they were going to use. KJ alt keeps there them away from sight, and slowly we're going to see Bubs try to lurk up and gets a pick on the Reyna. What an amazing lurk. Doesn't know that one's trying to go for a refrag. We're going to be see here. Yeah, most of the area is okay. at site B, but. Concordia looks a little split right now. Oh, shots fired. Cilantro checks. Slowly playing here, trying to bait out shots, bait out Uto. That knife is originally on Bubs. Can't use With that a very aggressive play here, goes through the TP. Actually, we're seeing McLovin maybe looking for a flank. This is fairly dangerous here, McLovin. If he gets the timing. 30 seconds left. If he gets the timing, and he misses, this is bad! McLovin doesn't get his one! And that's gonna be Bubs having to explode out of the, the 
two feet with a flash to be able to get his one. But that's going to be them rotating over to Ace at Concordia. Three to four at the moment. Going to be sprinting over with his ult to clear out sight. That's going to be critical miss. Running for his left. life away from this ult. Only eight seconds. And that's going to be the spike Mike getting planted. planted. Raise this one HP. That's going to be critical miss. Taking a lot of damage here. Taku is going to be going down. Making this even a 3v3. By himself here. Critical Flash misses. Right. Flashes. Doesn't quite go out here. Egg gets a pick on the bub. Spicy Cilantro pushing out here. Trying to get a pick on the one in the lantern. And now he does. Flash. Another one. A flash is there. He knows when it's here. He needs to use his molly here to secure this. They Don't know suppress. that two are in here. See, Critical Miss really trying to do something. They need to go on this bomb. One critical Miss remaining. with the timing. Spicy Cilantro gets it half. Critical Miss has to win this gunfight. He has to go in. But the arts, the Brim is going to secure the round with his ult. And that's going to be Egg with the 4K with his classic in his hand. Being able to take down Critical Miss there. The Brimstone ult can be devastating at times. And it was a perfect execution to keep Critical Miss off the point. Because there was just no opportunity to continue to save disarming it. We saw Cilantro get on and he did half it, which was very important, but then they could not capitalize off of it. We're going to see here the operator is going to be bought again by the machine, going to be able to hold. The up on attack is worse than up on defense, so if this gets into Bub's hands, I think it's a wrap for Concordia. Concordia needs to keep these guns away from Marietta, but Marietta are playing together here and very aggressive. Concordia very slowly walking up here, breaks a bot. Shoots. I think they know they're close. Flash. But flash. That's a big flash that's going to be able to get two. It doesn't get the raise. The raise is not phased by the flash. The boom bot going to be able to completely miss Spicy Cilantro. The YouTube going back. The Spicy Cilantro doesn't get the head tap he was looking for. Bubs is out here with a Spectre. Going to be able to get caught by that nade. And the ult, so he has no utility to use. That's gonna be Spike Bubs getting the phantom. He needs to change this round. Four to two at the moment. McLovin wrapping around with him in the elbow. We pushing out. Sees the smoke here. Here's the nanobots being put on the spike. Going Rolling up. off. Gardens, we don't know. That one is on site, and Bubs is gonna clear him, but doesn't take it to kill. McLovin gonna be able to trade him. McLovin is the only one left here, gonna be able to try to clutch up this round. Gonna be seeing the off shots from Gardens. McLovin trying to get the pick here onto the one in Hookah, doing damage to their eco. The bot is gonna be able to stop him from LOSing. McLovin just gonna be able to save this Vandal for next round. He cannot continue to battle that. Now it is match point at the moment for the Concordia. Marietta match has point. to play very specific here. They just have the just enough follow. to buy guns. See, does Critical Miss here have enough to actually buy his full util? We're gonna see no, he actually is gonna be missing out on a flash wheel to buy a full four shields and a gun but we're going to be seeing concordia still holding on to this op and with credits to spare marietta well they're not really worried about credit because if they lose this round they lose the map so buying all of which they can and this is going to be great push on to b site we're going to be seeing mclovin taking so much damage getting forced out there mclovin is at one hp and the sage is not there to heal him you see spicy cilantro. This is just there. Swarm grenades to stall them. Mathlick. Gonna be able to just spam them. Three are in hookah. We're gonna see Taku rotating over to try to get the heal to McLovin. That's gonna be McLovin being able to get shut down there. Only one shot was needed when he was at one HP. Alir goes out in gardens. They're playing slow. Looks like they're gonna be able to rotate to A here. So now it's a four stack on B, but it's Concordia confident in their gunplay to be able to take this four stack. All of KJ's util except this turret are taken down, and we're going to be seeing the lurk from Concordia in A site. They're going to be able to call it clear, but they're split at the moment. That's going to be a TP taken. They're all going to take the TP and rotate to A. Now that it has been called to be clear, but the rain is sticking around. Bubs doesn't see the rain. This is so bad. Bubs be able to get killed by the rain and lurking and staying back. 
What a rat play. Faku doesn't know that this raise is sitting right in this corner. And now it's up to critical miss in the machine. Oh, sorry, critical miss and spicy salon. Critical miss does take down the machine, the operator, but that's gonna be him down with his ult in One hand. Surprise. We're gonna be able to see now going over the spicy salon room. A lot of shots being fired here. And that's gonna be map one going to Concordia. But Marietta put seven on the board in a very competitive game one. Yeah, but we saw there that like when the round swapped, Marietta was starting to make a comeback, but after that, it looked like Concordia was just able to take it away. Uh, looks like the the end game stats are a little iffy right now, so we're just gonna go back to our lovely faces here, since yes. uh, we're not gonna be able to see the end game stats. So it might be some lag with the the server, but from what I noticed, it seemed like it was just Concordia t basically taking it away after the first couple of rounds on uh, on offense, and Marina just was not able to find a way to respond. Now, with right there, we see that the Phoenix instead of the Rays there is very... the def I, I believe that's the defining factor of that map, truly. That Rays got so much value out of her util, as she always does in that map. If you look at a pro play, Rays has a 100% pick rate. We even see uh, players that don't even usually play a duelist role pick Rays because she's just that impactful. You're able to throw your grenade into places like Lamp and completely flush out that angle so you don't even have to worry about it. You're able to shut down KJ ults as we saw on the Marietta's attack. We saw Concordia's Rays just completely shut down the ult. And just, it just kept happening. We saw the Rays shut down pushes and just shut down these angles with just one piece of util. With a Phoenix, it takes all of his util to be able to shut down one or two angles. So now it looks like the next map is going to be on Lotus. So just from your observations, what adjustments do you think the Pioneers are going to make if they want to go to map three? Adjustments here. At the moment, this is actually better for them because this is a more Phoenix-sided map other than a more Rays-sided map. So definitely if you want to play a Rays or, um, I'm sorry, if you want to play a Phoenix or a Reyna, you definitely can on this map. We see the adjustments. I really want to see a different controller come out from McLovin. The Omen just, it isn't it. You don't have any good util. Yes, you have the blind, but you need the smokes to be able to follow up with the blind. We saw multiple times that Marriott was pushing into a site with just out any smokes. And when you don't have smokes to push a site with, you just die, as we saw Marietta did multiple times. So I want to see either a brimstone. On this map, brimstone is very good. Or you can see a harbor if you if you're able to play that. Play a harbor here. You're able to push up these long sight lines a lot easier than you would with just an omen. All right, we're gonna give your voice a break for just a second. You've been doing a phenomenal job. Yeah. Uh, I think the uh, teams are taking a, a five minute break to just kind of get reset. But we didn't get a chance to go over our announcements from earlier on because they went straight into map one right when we started. So let's take this opportunity to go over a couple announcements. So first of all, we do want to give a shout out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor for Marietta College Esports. Uh, they've provided our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, microphone, uh, great equipment. Our students absolutely love them. If you would like to see if HyperX is, has the right peripherals for you, you can go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES. The QR code is up on your screen. They got some great deals going on. So please take a moment to check them out. We also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Every Tuesday is their Marietta College Night, especially now that we're back in classes. It's hard. We're already starting week four. That is crazy. Dude. That, it is crazy. Yeah. It's just amazing how quickly the semester goes. Uh, but yeah, so you can go check out their restaurant on Front Street every Tuesday where they'll have a Nintendo Switch available and you can play some Super Smash or some Mario Kart. And in a few weeks, you're going to be able to see Zach here and the rest of the Overwatch 2 team as they participate in the Nay Star League competitions. So once we get some more information about that, we will get that out to you on our social media. So don't forget to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Make sure to wish the Overwatch 2 team some luck. <laughs> It'll be very exciting for sure. I did get to actually see where the Over the Moon Pizza is on Front Street, and it's actually not that far away. Uh, oh, it's, it's very it's just within walking distance, and they have really good pizza. Yes. 
Now, of course, we are always looking for more students for our esports program. So we have varsity titles in Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch 2, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers, and of course, Valorant. And we have our dedicated facility here on campus with gaming machines and we're looking to add more uh, to our facility. We have several coaches for all of our titles, except for Smash. We're having trouble finding a Smash coach, but we got coaches for every all of our other teams. Uh, we do provide academic and mental health support for our students because we want to see them succeed. And of course, scholarships are available for high school seniors and college transfers. More information about that can be found at linktr.ee slash esports as well as this next image I'm gonna show you, where if you are a high school senior or a college transfer, we do tryouts every month. Our next set of tryouts will be in person in conjunction with the uh, admissions STEM visit day. So if you are thinking about pursuing a STEM major at Marietta College and you plan to be on campus on September 23rd, you can come to our facility, meet our coach, meet some of our students and try out for a scholarship and maybe walk away with some money. That's right. You have to just fill out our recruitment inquiry form at bit.ly slash MC recruit. Schedule the trial at bit.ly slash MC eSport trial and join our Discord server at bit.ly slash Pio Discord. The QR codes for those are all on your screen. Now, if you're not coming to campus on the 23rd, that's fine because we do have online trials going on every month. So we will have another online trial on, on our Discord server in October. We'll have one in November and December and the rest of the year as well. So there will be plenty of opportunities to try out for a scholarship, but you do need to try out if you want to receive a scholarship, of course. And I also want to mention, we haven't put this on social media yet, but in a few weeks, we will be partnering with Wings Etc. here in Marriott, Ohio for the Dying to Donate fundraising event, where on Monday, October 2nd, if you order any food or drinks, soft drinks, from Wings Etc. and present them with a ticket, which you can download here at bit.ly slash 470JBAX with that QR code, and you present it to them, 15% of your food and drink subtotal will go directly to our esports program where we can use that to get more uh, more equipment, uh, to be get more apparel for students and provide our, our teams with more opportunities. So, I mean, you gotta eat, right? We gotta eat, so why not go get some wings or some burgers or some hot dogs or some ribs and some soft drinks and just have a portion of your order go directly to support our program. Why not, right? Why not? And of course, thank you all for your support. Uh, you can thank you for your follows. Thank you for subscribing to our Twitch channel. If you have Prime Gaming, you can also if you have Amazon Prime, you can do it for free. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. Uh, I gotta hit the right button here. My bad. We are attacking again, yes, not defending. Are, and we are on Lotus. I know that that uh, Spice of Cilantro, this is definitely not his favorite map. So we're gonna be seeing how he plays on a map that is not exactly his favorite. We're gonna be seeing the raise for, uh, we're gonna be seeing basically almost the same exact comp we saw, actually, Never mind. a lot of changes are happening in the Concordia comp. We're going to be seeing the Concordia insta-lock in their comp already. We're going to see an Omen, Arena, a Cypher, a Breach, and then a Raze. Cypher on this map is very specific. He usually is seen on the C site, holding it down by himself. McLovin, looking at that Cypher, going to be seeing the Sky, the Reina, and then Spicy Cilantro hovering that Brimstone. I do love Brimstone gameplay. Again, my second favorite controller. I am a controller main, so I do love to see him play. So, we have seen the comp right now. This comp is looking a little bit interesting. We can see that we're not really running a very Select defensive Sentinel. McLovin hovering that chamber. We're going to be seeing Taku on the sky. They are starting to lock it. I remember they were talking before about that this might be a pretty... Uh, attacker oriented this is map. a very attacker oriented con so I will say they have no defensive tools other than I guess maybe sky dog and maybe these the chamber traps but that's about it we're gonna be seeing on the other side we're gonna be seeing the defending team have a little bit better defensive comp of course with that cypher and I don't know I don't know, they're both very well built for attack. The only just uh, really deciding factor here is that Cypher being picked and the double duelist comp again. We're gonna be seeing the Sentinel, Sentinel Initiator Controller double duelist for Concordia. And then from Marietta, we're gonna be seeing the double initiator duelist Sentinel Controller. Yeah, it just seems like the, 
the strategy from the pioneers is to get a very substantial lead before swapping sides yeah. and just trying to get a couple of rounds. So that's kind of a risky approach, but we'll see how that goes. Maybe they've weighed this. Maybe they know that they can go very, a lot more aggressive here and explode on the site to get all this pressure that they need. And we do see that Bubs did switch over to this raise that I was talking about. This raise here is going to be essential. Now, again, Lotus is not the exactly like a perfect raise map, but raise is, at the moment, I would say the absolute best duelist at the moment in time. Look, look at that value right there. Critical miss, everyone on Marietta is at one HP. Bugs is trying to fend off this damage with life, and we're gonna be seeing that Concordia's ra raise is at a very low HP, and that's gonna be critical miss going down. A trade from McLovin, and Bugs is gonna be able to go down here. Now it's all up to McLovin here. McLovin is gonna be shut down though. And we can see on his face he is not excited about that loss that round. Well, the machine has disconnected. We seem to be having a little bit of an issue here. We might. Yeah, they're just gonna give him a chance to network pause on back in. So they might have been having some network issues. PC crash. Oh, you hate to see that happen. But yeah, this is. I hope he's able to get back in. Uh, I know like I last year we had a match issue where like someone disconnected. I think what happened is they left the party and they weren't able to get back in and that caused some issues. But I'm hoping that because of the it was a crash and didn't end up leaving the party, that they should be able to join right away uh, once he's able to reconnect. So he's gonna have to give him a chance to reboot the computer. So it might just have a kind of run around for a few minutes as we're waiting for uh, Concordia's player to reset. Happens all the time. I know in my ranked games that disconnects happen more often than we actually win matches. So, mm -hmm. so while we are waiting for that, I won't put any images up just in case um, you connect pretty soon. But just to give a quick schedule update, tomorrow our League of Legends team will be playing against Clear University at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. So make sure you come back for that. And then on Saturday, we have four different matches going on. We're not going to be able to stream all of them, but we will try to give you updates on all four of them. So our Smash team will be starting up at 10 a.m. Our League of Legends team will be playing at 11. Our Valorant team will be playing at 12. See why we're not going to be able to stream all three of those. And then our Fortnite team will debut in their first competition at 3 o'clock. So we will be able to stream the Smash, Valorant, and uh, Fortnite teams. So please be sure to come back on Saturday to watch all that. And I should mention that what makes Saturday's matchups even more exciting is the opponent for Smash and Valorant will be Muskingum, our OAC rivals. So it is, I am so excited for that game. Yeah, this is the first time we played against Muskingum in like three years in esports. So I know everyone is hyped about these matches. So you definitely want to come check those out. We have to beat the fish. We just have to. We're pioneers. We gotta, gotta beat the muskies. Have to beat the muskies. Yep. I have a, a good friend that is down in Muskingum, and I know I'm going to have to tease him if we win. But so, he's going to tease you if, if we don't Oh, uh, we better not. We're not losing. All right, so I think we're still waiting for the reconnect. It just takes a couple minutes to boot and probably get software up and running. And So we appreciate everyone's patience as we are waiting for everyone to reconnect. Okay, they're saying logging in right now. I know you guys can't see the chat, but we can see that they're logging in. So it should just be another minute or two before uh, we're able to get the the next round going. So let's just talk about going to this next, next round because, of course, Marietta's going to be at the disadvantage. Uh, Concord will have the bonus. So what would be the plan for the Pioneers? The plan for the Pioneers at the moment is truly to stack a site and try to get as many picks as possible here. There's rarely a time you win this second round. Usually you're going to go 2-0 right at the start of the game if you lose the pistol. This is why most of the time in Valorant, you're, the pistol determines the game. So at the moment, Marietta is going to be playing a little bit from behind, but not too much from behind. So that's just going to be a Val just 
<laughs> He'll be back soon, he says. Machine is reconnected! Okay, so he's getting back in. We should be starting very soon. But yeah, as you're saying, if the Pioneers can at least get a couple of picks in this next round, then that will put them in good position into round three because they'll be able to buy, but Concordia might have some, some econ troubles if they go down a little bit. Yes, if, if Concordia somehow absolutely just biffs the second round, then yes. Back in it, we're going to be seeing, going swap back to Marietta, we've seen enough of the Cypher hopping around with his knife and who goes. Now we're going to be able to see how Marietta is going to come back this next round here. We're going to be seeing that they're going to be buying a little bit of ghosts here. A little bit of shields, all right of their there. utility. And you're gonna see Critical Miss not buying his flashes, one of his better utilities, but instead buys his C, which is a very interesting development here. We're gonna be see. So you're looking at the cipher setup is going to be very difficult. We're gonna be seeing someone's gonna get caught in this. Yeah, we already saw the tripwire laid out. So Bums, trying to get a little bit more aggressive here. We're gonna hit the door. Pulling them all out, but we're gonna see in the back here, Marietta seems to be in a little bit of a tizzy. The flash comes out, they're all full blind, it's gonna be up to Bubs to try to do something. Bubs doesn't get doesn't quite get a kill. Taku's gonna be able to trade him out. And now they're gonna be able to push up with Critical Miss at 1 HP. They swing out Meatball Nose, takes a little bit of chip damage, that's gonna be Critical Miss! I was making fun of him buying that YouTube, but it seems it worked out. Yeah. He got a kill with it. Yeah, Concordia was going for a pinch, and they actually got punished for it. McLovin doesn't oh. quite know he's there. Be able to get two on his way out. Yeah, the problem there was the Pioneers were already low in health, to so just one big hit would take him down. But they do get the spike planted, so now it's another can they defend? Last we see that standing. Critical Miss is extremely low in health with only 16 HP. And with only one bullet in the chamber. It seems that he is unaware that he only has one bullet. He's not going to be able to shoot his last shot. Yeah, no. We're going to be able to see that the defuser is going to be going over to the Reina. Cypher all really not that important, so Concordia is not going to be able to go for it. Again, that's actually not that bad. You get two picks there, and that's exactly what you're yeah. looking for. See, the econ for Marietta is pretty decent. They're going to be able to buy their guns this round as they wanted to. When we see Concordia, some of them are just going to be able to buy Light and a Ghost. This is what they want. They're going to bonus again. They're not going to buy with Marietta. They're going to try to push their advantage even further. If they get one or two kills, maybe even three this round, Marietta is going to be playing from the back seat, and Concordia is going to be in the driver's seat for around the fifth round is about when the driver's seat then is going to be able to be returned. Now we're going to see Bubs. Oh, the angle. Someone's going to get dinked here. Not quite. We're going to be see Taku just slowly meandering his way over here. Crosses are playing default, playing for picks. The machine is slowly walking up here. We see him through the wall. Trying to get aggressive. Taku with the spike. He is being a little bit slow to rotate with his team. Yeah, they're not getting a lot of information. So we see they're kind of playing the slow game to see where's the opportunity to press on. But right now it's pretty well guarded. And he's going to spot, spot him by the Cypher. Cypher's going to swing him. Can't just be standing there. He's going to satchel, but he's going to get hit by the trip. But he almost gets a kill. That's going to be the Cypher going to put him down. Cilantro's going to get the refrag. The raise, almost getting the pick there. Gets the refrag. You see two down on the side of Concordia. Critical miss. It's going to be able to stun the raise. Almost sitting in that molly. Critical miss does know he's there. Holds his flash. The machine pushing out. Same with Meatball. And it's going to be the raise pushing out. Critical miss gets the kill. And it's going to be so spicy cilantro gets another. And then got to finish it off with the 3k. That was really good for Marietta there. Be able to get those picks back. Only losing one. If you're only going to be losing one there, that's really good. Now, Bubs is going to be asking very politely for his team to buy him so that he can pop off this round. We're going to see Egg with the five kills on this Omen playing very aggressive. And now we're going to see Concordia. 
putting all of their eggs in one basket. We're going to see... Oh, that was an accidental satchel from Bubs. He's not going to be able to use that one this round. I wonder what the plan was with that, and that's going to be a fault line coming out. Bubs getting absolutely blasted with the grenade, taking so much damage there. But actually, we're going to be seeing Concordia's rays taking even more damage from it. Bub's nade, and we're going to see him slowly pushing out, critical miss, holding the door, going to be forcing them out, making sure they can't really push. Spicy Cilantro with the Lurk is going to be able to get one try to push up B. He's probably going to call for a rotate B here, and we're going to be able to see the, oh, the swing from A is going to shut down Bub's, but the rotate onto B is happening. They don't know where this Cypher is. Cypher is right under their nose. He's getting hit by Molly through the wall. Cypher, playing so they wait for their team, gets fault lined. And that's going to be them pushing through this door. It's going to be a trade. Critical miss in the machine. And then Spicy Cilantro is going to go down. Did not have the knowledge that he was there. And the machine is going to get shot down. McLovin is going to be sitting in the smoke here. It's just Taku holding this down by himself here. So you're going to hear the Cypher slowly going up. He's going to be looking. Taku wins the gunfight. What a good play there. Marietta winning the first full buy round. And we're going to see Concordia. It's gonna be a little bit out of money here. They're going to have to eco for this round. Great play by Marietta. The call to rotate B there was amazing. We saw their, their timing was just right. There was a slip past the defenses of Concordia and it will get the refrags that they really needed. Yeah, the, the pit by Cilantro was able to help set up that rotate over to B. The lurking Reina. He must be playing too much ranked. He's expecting this lurking Reyna. You can see the smoke right there is going to be perfect. The fault line goes through. Doesn't really hit much. McLovin going to be just holding this to make sure no one pushes out of this smoke. The door gets hit, but the breach is pushed on the site. Bugs taking space with his satchel. It's going to be a satchel peek there. On the site, sees the machine, gets the pick he needs. And now he's going to be holding down site as Taku rotates in to put down the spike. Honestly, should be giving it here to Bub so he get his ult back online quicker, but he is going to be the one planting it down. And they're all going to be running in the stairs here. And if you are going to be going up to heaven, you're going to see McLovin holding this here. Doesn't get blinded. The nade buys him more time. A lot of damage gets taken here. The Leer is going to come out and absolutely blind McLovin. It doesn't blind him! You can see completely fine, but he's taken down by Meatball. And then, it's gonna go another one down, but there's the ult going through, Spicy Cilantro has the ult, they know he's gonna be ulting Spike here, doesn't know that they're all back sight. Taku, playing back here, is willing to risk his life, is trying to hit the Player door, but standing. gonna get bit, but that's gonna be the Spike, going down, and both Meatball and the Cypher are gonna be going down. That's really good for Marietta, on the eco... They did lose a lot of people there on their eco, but you're going to see that Concordia is again on a slow start. And now a timeout going through. Yeah. Two to three at the moment in the favor of Marietta in this eco at the moment. That Hellfire ult from Cilantro was huge. We saw Concordia use that same play in the first map, but using that to the delay the defuse long enough that there was nothing that Concordia can do to respond to it to guarantee that round. But yeah, they died a lot, but they did at least get the, ha the round. And this is the first time I think the Pioneers have been ahead the entire series. I believe so. I believe that is correct. And interesting thing, if we were able to see, um, if Spicy Cilantro was able to see our perspective of the map, he would have known to just alt back sight there. If he alts back sight, he's going to cook two of them and put them on the grill and see how they turn out. I, I'm predicting a well done steak there if he's able to put that alt back sight. But he puts it on the spike, and that's the safe play. It completely stops him from being able to contest it. I will say that it's the smarter play, but not as flashy as right. one would hope. You don't get bonus points for being flashy in this game. You definitely do. Well... <laughs> and now we're going to see the next round starting off here. Marietta. I uh, wonder where they're going to go this time. They've really been hitting you a lot of breach. A Let's and go. going on to B. Usually you don't touch C here with this cipher setup. We're going to see a call for C hit from Marietta. 
Maybe it's the mind game. So maybe Con they think that Conqueror is expecting them to not go for C, but they're like, you know what? We're going to go for C because I think we're not going to. Maybe. Okay. Bub shoots the camera, but we're going to see the Cypher is going to be playing very close here. He only has a Bulldog to his name. Bub's is going to hit this door. He's going to be able to lurk in. Smoke comes out fault line as well. They believe it's already on B, but Marietta is nowhere close. They actually might rotate okay. all the way over to A. And Boombop goes out. He's going to throw a bomb back sight, and this is going to be Marietta's cue to slowly lurk A. Let's see if they can catch this raise. He doesn't quite catch the raise. Doesn't quite catch the raise. Critical miss gets his head completely taken off. A free a haircut spot. from the raise. And now this has to be a go button for Concordia and a go button for Marietta in it of the same. We see Spicy Cilantro winning that trade with the Bulldog. But McLovin's going to be taking up a Taku with a refrag. 30 seconds Taku. left. You know, we get this plank down, maybe plank. risking his life as he's not quite getting pushed yet. But two are heaven. Taku does not know what danger he is in. He's going to ult just to make sure that he's not going to be able to get picked. Egg goes down, Bugs going on the remaining. tear, but it's just machine left, and then it's gonna be Taku cleaning it up. Again, Taku creating infinite amount of pressure with him taking the spike and getting able to plant it down. Again, this ability to get this pressure with the spike is insane. We always see him planting the spike because it's so necessary. We're gonna see McLovin on the chamber with the operator. Nah, he's gonna sell that. Bubs is looking for a buy here, but he might just be using his ult to try to get a quick pick. Ah, he's gonna get bought by his team. Camaraderie. Spicy Cilantro putting down these smokes, Smoke playing down. on his iPad here just to make sure that his team can go in. And you see a lot of fighting here with this Reyna from McLovin. He was gunning down, Meatball can't watch it out in time after being flashed. That's and that's the go button. But they don't know about this breach hiding in tree. McLovin's gonna be the first one to be on site. He's gonna clear out. No one's clearing tree, the flash goes through. The shorty, the Bucky's gonna get right two. Down. There's no way. The Bucky gets three. Marietta is unable to stop the Bucky menace. Bub's playing slow, knows that there's a Bucky over there, but knows he can just grab it. Uses his own. Doesn't quite get the pick. The Bucky almost gets four. He needs to kill his one backside. Gets it backside. It's a 1v1. Bub's planting the spike. Has to hit the head. He is 1 HP. This omen could just sneeze on him, and the timing's good. He makes it the tree without being noticed. This is where you hold your breath. The smoke comes out. This is massive. But Bub's has the nade. If the omen touches Spike, he's able to throw the nade and force him off, but also revealing his position. He's going to smoke himself here. He touches the Spike. There's the grenade. That's going to be the swing. There it is! Bob's with the collects 4K! Bringing it home for Marietta, 2 to 5! What an insane clutch! The mind games! The nerves of steel from that and the patience to wait for a to go right for the diffuser. He hears it, throws the grenade, just as you're saying, throws him off of the, the off the plant and was able to get the headshot. We see there he recaught the omen trying to use his usual to clear out the rays. He thought the rays gonna be holding a very defensive angle, but Bubs is holding a way more aggressive angle than he assumes, and then able to swing out as soon as he pulls out that usual to use it. Absolutely dominating him. We're going to see Spicy Cilantro lurking up as he usually does, trying to make some space for his team here on B. Able to smoke off C from here just barely. But Cypher knows. Cypher is not even playing on C, but gets all of his all of his util destroyed. And that's going to be smokes going out here. We're going to see Bubs going on this entry. Slow as he goes, trying to get Taku onto site for that oh, plant. Yeah. Throwing in that. Taku's going to dog. All the util is going to be used out here. Bob's going to be holding this. Almost gets his head taken off. That's going to be two people stunned on the other side. That's going to be an ult. The util is just being spammed at them. They can't even handle it. But McLovin is at 3k. McLovin absolutely carrying up a meatball. It's going to be able to 
go back with it and out spicy cilantro in the 1v1 scenario. We saw Bubs in not too long ago. He doesn't know he's low here, holding up this high angle, pulling out the iPad, and put down smoke. the smoke, smokes himself off. Very curious, curious idea there. Here's the clip clomping of the Reyna. The spike is pinged, but you can't spam it from here. You can't spam the spike from here. She has it half, he has to push up. Shoots and gets the pick! Spicy Cilantro with the clutch! Marietta are becoming clutch gods as these rounds go on. Two to six at the moment. So a lot just kind of happened there in the middle. Can you break that down? I couldn't quite get on the POV of McLovin, but what he saw there is he lurked in the smoke of the omen after the pick on the raise was happening in Waterfall, was able to hide in that smoke and peek out just at the right time Watch to timing mind. all three of Concord people only getting shut down by the Reyna, you want to making play? that Let's even McLovin play. with an absolute amazing play there. And now we're going to see him with his operator, but Spike Kukum is getting shut a. down by a Marshall. A little bit smaller operator than he's used to seeing. So now we're going to see McLovin trying to get this pick on this race. Going to be able to shoulder peek out. He gets the knowing that there is an operator there. I think Spicy Cilantro getting shut down on his lurk. This is Concordia's eco. They cannot be losing like this it's getting okay. all of these kills here makes it so much more painful for marietta and now they gave all of concordia better guns at least meatball is gonna be able to get that better gun but they can't quite reach critical misses and we see the rotate out at the moment see bubs knows a son that someone died here is gonna be slowing down we can see that his gun is actually not taken no, it is. My bad. Reyna lurked up, took it. That's a specter on the ground now. Well, now we can see a rotate over to C. But again, with this constant ability to check C, with this cipher, we're able to kill him. Checking for those, tri those trips. Going to hit one. Hits the second. Bubs clearing his path for his team. He's on C. Doesn't get hit by the stun. Going to throw the boombot down as Taku was getting into position to plant. That's a very dangerous spot to plant, Taku. You can get your head shot clean off, and he's gonna get stopped Last. during the plant. It's not gonna go down in the flawless eco round for Concordia. Taku started planning a wee bit too early and got his head absolutely decimated by the stinger. After a huge clutch play by Cilantro, it just seemed like the Pioneers got overconfident and careless. Get two picks, get picked off twice early on in the round, and just kind of shut them down for the rest of it. That is very upsetting on the edge of Marietta, and since they had to rely on those clutch rounds where only one person was alive, their eco is absolutely in the gutter at the moment. We're going to be seeing three Vandals being bought, and Cordy is completely full by. They're going to be exploding out of A here quickly, taking rubble control, and there it is, rubble control held. Hitting the door to go straight in the tree. We're going to see Bubs taking this control very aggressively. We're going to see the machine right there. The satchel PT gets was one. And that's going to be Bubs getting shut down by the other rays. Quick on this alt in sight, but doesn't hit anyone. He doesn't quite know that. Spicy Cilantro gets his alt online. Playing very slowly. It's going to be everyone on site here. And we're going to see Taku slowly holding it. And he's not going to be able to get to see him because he's getting smoked off trying to get the peak there. McLovin, what an amazing pick there. You're going to see a lot of shots being hit here. That's going to be taken down by the Rays. Rays is playing back set, and that's going to be McLovin taking him down with the Spectre. Cilantro didn't even need his ult, but had it just in case. And yeah, now that's the Pioneer team that we wanted to see. That was a much better round. We see the eco strat that they had of just rush onto site, get everyone into close angles and win. Kind of worked out there because, again, Concordia really are very. They seem, with this brimstone again, they're having a harder time holding these angles because you can't just wait for the omen smoke to go down because the brim smoke lasts so long. And now we're going to see Concordia with only a classic on the raise, with only a thousand in the bank. See a very big eco there. They're going to be playing very split up, not what you exactly want to see. The leer comes out, the boom bot to clear it. We're going to see Bubs, critical miss, going at the same, critical miss is going to be hit there, Bubs taking a lot of damage, here comes the party from the Reyna, that's going to be Bubs getting the kill on the Cypher, Cypher whipped a lot of the shots there, and now Marietta, all of them are hurting, 
Taku, the only one able to heal on us. We spicy cilantro, one HP. Everyone in Marietta is one HP. Spicy cilantro taking this duel here. He should not be peeking that. What is he? That player thankfully he has so many people on site here to be able to control this. But that was just an unnecessary risk he was taking. He had the site down. He didn't need to go that aggressive. And now this Reyna is actually in a pretty favorable scenario here to be able to take down this, take down the rest of the team. But it seems she's lurking in very slowly. That's gonna be one meatball going clue, and thankfully their crossfire is there. That was looking in dire straits for Marietta when they're all on very Last low HP. Round in the half. That was a very, very nervous, very nervous, um, yeah. made me nervous at least, that peak that Spaces Launcher was doing for that peak. Again, it just felt slightly unnecessary. It was risky, but if he had pulled it off, that would have been huge because it would have delayed Concord's any attempt to try to get back onto well, the site. Well, at the moment, we I saw that with else. that, Moreno was the last one to make it on the site and would have been the last one to make it on the site regardless. So him taking that duel there and losing it to that Bulldog was very just unfortunate and left its very low HP teammates to he fend off against a very uh, low eco gun, which is very devastating! Bubs is going to be able to get that kill. I thought we were going to see a Rosa ult for a moment. Bubs is going to be able to clutch it out though and get the kill. Taku going to try to plant on the site, planting a little bit safer. Hellfire is going out from the Spicy Cilantro to give his team some time. Critical miss throwing all their util right here, and that's going to be Concordia at very low HP. Some pushing for main, some pushing for waterfall. The heads of Marietta are split at the moment. Critical Miss is going to be able to get flashed. He's getting poked at, but he's not faltering. He's going to be able to flash out, trying to go in. And that's going to be Critical Miss getting another kill. The operator will go quite go down. Taku with another kill. That's going to be Meatball lift up to try to clutch this out, going in from waterfall. Taku is going to be able to try to hold this down. Flashes the Reina. Really good opportunity here, but going to be able to go down. And now... It's only two from Marietta, and then it's in a, such a great position. That's going to be McLovin with the operator. Shutting him down, and that is the first half of Lotus. Nine to three, Switching a sides. huge difference from what we saw in the first map. The Pioneers, if you take a look, they have taken three maps in a row. And actually, if you look at the past like 10 rounds, they've taken nine of those 10 rounds. Yes. And the thing is, Concordia's already burned her time out, so there's no need to, inter you can't interrupt Marietta's momentum at this point. No, you really can't. Marietta is on a roll. They have a game plan. They have, they, they just know what they want to do at the moment. They're doing it very well. At the moment, we see, I, again, I swear, it is this raise that is making the difference. You put bubs on someone like Raze, we already know he is, has insane gunplay when watching his Reyna. You put him on this raise with the util as well as aim. Smoke. It is curtains for the enemy team. We're going to see a big A push here. Spicy Cilantro already burning one of the smokes. But there's no one there. His team's kind of prematurely rotating. We're going to be seeing Taku here is going to be the one kind of calling if sound Molly. is made, made or not. Molly comes through B. That's a very early Molly when there is no noise B. That is a very interesting play by Spicy Cilantro. Taku. Bubs is going to be able to get the first pick. Taku in a beautiful position to get to with Bubs helping him out there. What an amazing play. And Meatball is going to be able to get Spicy Cilantro as he's holding B there. And now it's going to be Taku and Bubs holding it down. Wow, two ships crossing in the night. One enemy remaining. Bubs with the three piece trying to go for the four. Critical Miss going to help him out here under this Reyna. Right in the middle here. It's a 3v1. Going to be a stun. The Reyna can't really move around. Can be going right in the backside with his friends. He's in at the aggression at the moment. Poppy's gonna shut him down before that Reina gets any more dangerous. Had me sweating there at the end when Marietta was giving the Reina good one. Standing between us and victory. But it is good that Marietta is able to come up there again. Spicy Cilantro using his util there a little bit early kind of maybe scratched my head, but that's okay. Now they're gonna have. Now they're going to have a big advantage with that power play here. Yep. Get him one step closer to take this round and getting to uh, map three. I mean, I've seen very wide differentials in teams coming back, so it's not over yet. But as Maria can keep this momentum, we will see that map three. I hope to see it. Three to ten at the moment. They just need three rounds and on this 
round here. We hear a lot of shots being fired, they're being named. We're gonna see McLovin probably going to be the first contact here with his sheriff out. Shoots once. Sees a lot of people, knows that they're here. He needs to get out of Dodge. He is being surrounded by Concordia, but his team is here to help him. That's going to be one on the side, but it's actually even at the moment. In the side, in the favor of Concordia, but Kaku's going to make it even. Bubs going in here, trying to get more picks for his team, playing very aggressive. We're going to see the Omen only with the classic to his name. He doesn't actually know where it is. He doesn't check his corner, but there he goes. He sees his pistol Spike just in down. time. See. Do not know where this raise is. Going to get shot at. There's going to be trade on the Taku with a three-piece. What a pick. Taku really improving his aim here. From the last time that I saw him. At the moment, the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, Taku has been playing exceptionally well this map. Taku's just playing out of his mind. He is... I don't, I don't know what, what inner chi he has reached, but he has reached and he has grown from the last map from here. Just based on gunplay and positioning alone, he's able to position himself in these crossfires to help out Bubs. Honestly, he should make Bubs his best friend and just play with Bubs this entire time. Yeah, he has achieved Nirvana with this guy, getting the information that needs to, to find where people are located. You hear this massive rush coming B, and that's going to be Spice of Cilantro with a shorty playing very aggressive against town of everybody gets his one Spike onto down, the cypher but are you really happy to trade your controller for a cypher i don't know especially on attack that is a very hard sell here if you're willing to trade your controller the only way of smokes or molotovs on this team to be able to stop the push there that's going to be a hard sell because right now mario is going to have a lot harder time aggressing stopping this ag uh, aggressive play that Concordia has cooking here. Critical miss getting a pick. You he hear the call is going down on Bubs. B hopping into sight. Okay. A little bit native here. Gonna be throwing one tree, forcing him out. Making a lot of noise here. Four to four. The satchel peak, and that's gonna be a pick, but it's even still. It's gonna be the better guns for Concordia, but Bubs is playing closer. We're gonna see the Omen almost gets him down. He's half HP. McLovin gets one, standing. and now it's two v one. No, it's a, a two v one in Spike the favor planted. of Concordia. Marietta making some noise. Only six points up to his end. Yes, and go. That's gonna be Nathlik yeah, putting just, down McLovin. Just got picked off from behind. Did not know where he's at. It's unfortunate, but. Pioneer's still up, 11 to 4. Econ in pretty good shape, so they will be able to... It's in a shape where they can buy, but I wouldn't call it pretty good, because at the moment, if they lose, they have to be put on an eco. And at the moment, Critical but, Miss is already not on the greatest. But if they win... Again, this is the deciding round right here. Who's going to be put on the eco, and who is going to be the ones to come out on top? We're going to see Slowy and juicy. That's gonna be McLovin getting picked out right away from the from Egg here. And that's gonna be an explosive start into sight. Taku hearing a lot of noise, unable to do much about it. That is a very dangerous position to be in. The Boombot taking away his health, and he's gonna get gunned down through the smoke. Space is launcher getting this one that he needs. But that's it at the moment. Marietta at the moment stuck behind these walls. Gonna be able to molly himself off here. Not the exact play we need, but it's gonna be Bubs. So we're gonna spice his launcher with one. Egg is gonna shut down Spicy Cilantro though. Bubs is having to go in here for a miracle play. It's a 2v3. Bubs is a no, he's right to his right. Bubs gets the pick he's looking for. They're playing slow though. He sees one, has a satchel, lets it rip the Rosa! Doesn't quite get it off! That's gonna be Critical Miss getting shut down there. The Rosa ult. Yeah, we just if saw the Bubs was slightly faster on his mouse there and just let it rip. Then the early pick onto McLovin was huge for Concordia, putting them at that immediate disadvantage. I think what we're seeing, the Pioneers just kind of making some careless mistakes, getting out of position and getting punished for it. So now we're seeing that they're just not, I mean, they're, they're buying some, looks like some ops, but they're just not going to be able to go all out. So they're going to have to be very careful here. This is the, the swing that we were talking before that Concordia can get back into this game if the Pioneers uh, continue to be careless. Marietta has to play smart here if they're going to take this to map three. 
5 to 11, that is not an impossible feat. Ask can be spicy cilantro though, making it hard for Concordia to do anything but 11 HP. Has his ult waiting with loving arms for Concordia. He doesn't know if someone's going for that refrag, so he's not going to push for that gun. But Bubs will gladly push for this Vandal as he sees him crossing. He picks up the gun. He's going to be able to get his one, but doesn't quite get out like he wants to. But that's really good for Marietta down. here with a 3v4. Going to be spicy cilantro. Getting a little bit scared of B. Going to be able to use his molly to stop that from happening. Again, slow as it goes, a call for an A rotate is here. We're going to see McLovin is unaware of this race, but he's very aware. Playing very slow, knows one can still be here. He's lurking up, waiting for it. The swell, oh, the timing, the timing. McLovin doesn't know. That violent timing, it doesn't get any better than that. 30 seconds left. And there McLovin goes down to the person he just didn't see. And that's going to be Taku as well going down with only a marshal. The spikes planted on C. The alt doesn't go anywhere near anyone. It's Percy Cilantro. Exactly where you are. It's seen here. That's going to be very, that's a very hard sell for Marietta to be able to get back into this round after smoke using down. that ult and being unable to get anything with it. Spicy Cilantro to push through this smoke. And all these flashes, and that's gonna be a shooting gallery for for Concordia. Again, Marietta, that was their eco. I will give them that. Now it is on to a full buy. Eh, critical miss can't even buy shields. And on a buy round, not a full buy, but it is a buy round. Right. They will buy some vandals. Um, you killing shields are overrated, anyways. So. We're going to see that really it is Concordia's Reyna that is really pushing in here. And with Egg as well, I think it's the three on top is really that trio that is doing the most damage. Bubs not even able to buy a Boombop for this round. No Util gathering. Molly! Throws a Molly beaming. Really, the amount of Mollies are being used here by Spicy Cilantro so early to try to slow down these pushes, I understand, but like sometimes they're just not there. There's not enough information. He needs to be able to use these mollies after he's heard something. But right now he's just throwing it blind and as we see the smoke's down, the mollies down, he's gonna get double swung and he can't do much about it. He puts it down, the bugs gets one, then it gets traded I'll out. Smoke. And now we're gonna see that Concordia has no intention of going to be under going straight to see. We're, be we're gonna see that we need to see critical miss try to hold on the floor, but he can't even get on the site. The cypher blocks his begins. The hunt begins. Concordia is looking for some, but now there is a 2v4 at the moment. Make it a 2v4. Again, I meant egg. Last one alive. One HP gets put down. What an insane rotation from Marietta. That's what we'd like to see. That shot there from Critical Miss was really the side of it. Critical point. Miss lost that round. That would have been terrible. Timeout starting. For the attackers, I forgot they get one timeout per side, but yeah, they're yeah they're popping the timeout just because it is match point for the the pioneers. Econ wise, they're in really good shape, but for Concordia, it looks like they're not going to be at full strength. They will not be. We can't. The machine won't be able to buy, and Meatball will not be able to buy. Meatball not being able to buy is really bad here because that's one of their star. Um, entry frags as we've been able to see here she's really good at making that space but meatball uh, without a gun can't really do much we're going to see that bubs um bubs really excelling on this raise here as i knew he would he just really need to pull that out on bind and at the moment we'd be at match point here and we would be able to just go home but we tried out the phoenix now we're on the raise. We're going to be trying it out. And as we see, the results are there and are better. We're going to see the faces players as they banter and as they talk. Well, maybe not Cilantro. He's a little bit stone-faced at the moment. Going to be going on to other people. Critical Miss. They're all having a fun time here with the Sportsman game. And now we're going to be going into this last round if Marietta can pull it out. Well, we see Taco does have his ult ready, so be able to get some information. But McLovin and Critical Mass, or Critical Miss, sorry, almost have their ultimates ready to go. So if they're able to get some points in here, they, they can definitely go all in to try to secure this map. It's also the same for Machine. I believe on attack. Oh, they're actually going to be trading out their gun here. Critical Miss actually going to be going for this Guardian. Critical Miss gets a kill or an alt orb here. He is going to have his ult online and completely take a pop all over this round. 
He almost peeked at it, almost had his head taken completely off. You see Bugs lurking back sight here. Gonna be holding down tree. Here's all of this utility Ready? throwing a nade to stop the push. And it does, it works, it stops the push. But there's that all I was talking about, the heavy ult hold. They're going in, and Bugs can't escape the ult. Look at that play, the two alts in the harmony from Concordia, completely shutting down Marietta on this match point. Taku wanted to use his ult here, but not in a great position to do so. We're going to be going over Cilantro, who has the flank, opening the door, still beaconing away. Taku gets some information with his dog. Gonna be sm spicy Sandra gonna be smoking Push off. Down. Let's see how they go with this execute. Molly's off tree, but takes so much poke damage in the process. Last player 15 standing. HP. Gets a kill with his Molotov. They can't quite see it in the smoke, and he's gonna get taken down through the wall. It, it seemed like once they lost a couple people, they said, okay, we're gonna slow down and just no see if they can get some picks, but not try to do anything it. careless. Yeah, so as we see, now Marietta has their ult online, so what they want, but are on an eco, which is really bad. You can eco maybe once or twice before you realize that the yeah, Concordia can come back at the moment. Very good eco for Concordia. They win this one, they can buy again. We're going to see Marietta has to try to do some damage to those Vandals, specifically to the machine. If they can do damage to him, that will be amazing for them, as well as doing damage to Egg, who cannot buy next round. That's going to be Meatball taking down McLovin right away. Again. Molly. Now we can see the Molly come out. This is actually good Molly to slow them down. See that now he pushes up with a shorty, but doesn't get any kills. Very, very aggressive. The exactly Seekers come out are. whenever they're down two. See, a very sloppy round from Marietta, I would have to say. Not the best I've seen. They're going to have to do this. I hope they don't use their ult here. If Critical Miss thinks he can win this and use his ult, I won't say that he's correct Spike in the, the preposition that you can do that. And this is a Reina peeking out as soon as he was going to slay the Valorant timing. Now it is just left to Bubs to try to get some damage on the board. You can see that they know exactly where he is. They're not fooled. They're shooting exactly where he should be. And this smoke is going down about two seconds. One, two. Not quite down yet, but down right now, and there it goes. He gets no one with his spray. And that's going to be a flawless for Concordia. Marietta, that is not what they were hoping for. Yeah, I think they're getting the we're the match points jitters, if you will. They're, right here. They're making some mistakes, and it's getting very costly. Now we do see that McLovin is going to pop the chamber ult. We're going to try to get some big picks. We have seen a couple rounds get picked off very early on. So this is going to be critical to make sure he doesn't get picked off in the first two seconds Safety's of off. this round. If he's able to get one pick with his ult, this will be amazing. We're going to see. It looks like it's going to be a B push. Spicy Cilantro is time to shine with his Molotovs. Molly! Here, so Orb cuts off the team. Very slow at the moment. Concordia is taking their time to weigh out their opposition, knowing that they have full guns. They can't go in guns blazing. Alir is going to be popped here. And that's going to be all the Utah going out here. Ray is straight on the site. And that's going to be the ult, the comeback from Marietta. That's going to be critical miss. Getting a pick. Meatball gets a trade. That's going to be Spicy Cilantro pushing out the double peak, the double swing. Meatball getting blasted by that raise nade, getting put down to very low HP. Now we're going to see Bubs slowly rotating around. Here's people rotating. Here's one saves, one kills, one does not know where to side for side. He's probably going to get a good one timing on the remaining. Critical Miss. Critical Miss goes down. Now it's up to Bubs. With his ult going to secure game two. And Defenders that is going win. to be 1-2-1. One, one. Not a defeat. It is a victory for Marietta. So that is going to be 1-1 one, one at the moment. Looking very good on Marietta's side. Yeah, just exceptional 13 play. 8. Oh, 13-8. Yeah, thank you for correct. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, now we see the, the score breakdown there. On the Pioneer side, Bob's finishing 15. I'm sorry, 19-17-10. Um, Spices Launcher, very close, 19, 13, 8, just died us a little bit. 
What we really yeah. see there that yeah. really matters is those first yeah. bloods. Bubs, six rounds, have those first bloods and absolutely just rule the rounds with those. First bloods are exactly what you want from your duelist, and that is exactly what he delivered. Yeah, we found that th that last round they were able to utilize the, the smokes, utilize uh, the molly to be able to split up the team, and then they're able to basically divide and conquer. And of course, the the huge rocket at the end for those bonus points. But all right, so well, you do get bonus points in Valorant. Yeah. That a lot of bonus points. Honestly, okay, there's a combat score. There is a co you know, at the moment, I think it's actually 8 to 14 because of that. that they, get an extra, they get an extra point on that. Well, one. either way, we are going to map three, folks. So if you've been looking for some Valorant, we got more Valorant for you. So we're going to take a small break here. And when we come back, we will be at map three. So don't go away. We'll be back in a few minutes.
Alrighty, and welcome back. It looks like we are going to be starting up game three very soon. You know what? I'll move to the camera. There we go. Because. Actual. Oh, there we go. We were muted for a second there. Now we're unmuted. We're good. So, I was going to say, ready is rather an, a concept more than an actual thing, you know? True. Thing. Now, it looks like it's going to be Ascent with Marietta attacking first. So, let's talk about this map because it is game three. It is essentially whoever takes this takes the whole series. So, what should be the game plan for the Pioneers? So, at the moment, both teams like playing this breach. This is a breach map. He's usually underrated on this map, but you can use it to completely clear out lanes. You can set him in a position up near catwalk and he's able to completely stop pushes from tiles pushes from mid pushes from b main a main catwalk he's just he's so versatile in that area but also as well we're going to see that brim still works on this map we might be able to see a viper viper's pretty good on this map so we're going to see a lot more diversity in comps except for rays rays again is queen on this map Raise is almost, again, 100% pick rate for a reason on most maps. Ascent is no exception. Being able to lob grenades through the windows on B and being able to take them down, uh, be able to get all that pressure onto the attackers early is going to be pivotal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we saw in the last game, Bubs was doing very well with that raise, so I, I would not be surprised if he decided to go with her again for this one. Honestly, yes. Ray's, again, really good. Phoenix can work on this map, I will say, because there's a lot of choke points to be able to push out with those quick flashes that are very hard to turn. Be able to do that. All right, we're still waiting because we thought everyone was ready. Apparently, okay, now, now, now they're ready. ready. All right, let's All go right. ahead and get in here. We will be on Ascent. On attack again, and also we're gonna see an insulock on KJ. That's something I didn't mention, but I should have. KJ is also really good on this map. The microwave setups being the absolute, just being able to hold down and lock down a completely. We're gonna see Egg on the Omen. It seems that he's that's his more comfortable pick here. So we're gonna see Omen, a KO, which is all right on this map. I will say we see a KO, we see a KJ, we see Arena. We're going to see Taku hovering that duelist role, but probably going to be putting on the sky. And Danthek, as we know, is going to be going on that Phoenix role. Not exactly what you usually see on this map. As I said, Phoenix can be used. Who is Bubs going to be playing? Hovering the chamber, making me nervous. Let's say you were talking about Raze, but no one's even looking at Raze right now. I don't believe that Reyna is a play here, so... I see that a lot of conversations happening with Marietta really just being distinctive on this comp that they're going to go here. Bubs going over to this Phoenix, not the worst play, I will say, but it's a pretty all right. McLovin on the Omen. Again, I don't like the Omen picks on this map. This is not an Omen map. Brimstone has so agent. many good lineups here. We're going to see a, we're going to see an Omen, a Sky. We're going to see also a Phoenix, a KO, and a KJ. KJ is going to be able to hold down B very easily. Same with being able to be able to lock down A. But here's the problem. Omen. I do not like Omen on this map. Only Omen as your controller is so bad. We saw how much value those Molotovs that Spicy Solancho had gave to his team. Now you take away those Molotovs. The only Molotovs you have are the KO, which is slow. And then the Phoenix was are short. You can't get that and they don't last as long. Brimstone's Molotov is the best in the game. You give up the consistency of that Molotov for situational Molotovs on KJ, very slow Molotovs on KO, and then Phoenix with a very aggressive but very slow Molotovs. So we're gonna see that there's not a lot of stall potential here. So we're gonna see that the game plan for Concordia is just rush out on the site. Truly. Into this game. So Sky, again, really good. Having it able to drone. So use your dog. Be able to see and check those close corners that are always in the choke point of Ascent. That's one of the main crucial things of Ascent. That in my ranked games, people always seem to forget that Sky has a utility that can clear corners. Other than just feeding yourself to the wolves. It's something that they seem to forget, which is fine. 
seems we might have some technical difficulties with the camera since it is not right, switching. Hey. That is odd. Let's see. Does this work? No? Let's, let's see what's going on here. Because it was working just fine the other day, earlier. Just gonna oh, wait, wait, wait. I, wait hold on. Let's, uh, let's do a quick check here. Alrighty. Okay, so this hey. should be. Hey! Next, Mary is attacking, so. Right now we're on the looking at the moment for is this Elantra here with this turret peeking out here on the catwalk gonna get both bugs and spicy cilantro gonna get shut down very quickly here and now we're gonna see Concordia in the driver's seat now Lennox says the understanding can shove him behind us absolutely turns it on critical miss now we're gonna see Taku and McLovin here Believe has this um, thing been all situated. I believe so. We're gonna see McLovin slowly making his way. He's gonna go check some angles. Right. He's gonna get the shot standing. right in the back. Taku not gonna be able to swing off of it. And he's gonna get swung by everyone oh, under yeah. the sun. Blinds himself to try to get across, and that's gonna be Nathlek with a 4K. Flawless round for Concordia. Look, from what I've seen so far from Marietta, we do not win pistol rounds. It's just not going to happen, so that is fine. But again, as we say multiple times before, you win the pistol round, you're in the driver's seat. Now we're going to see Concordia be able to play their game on defense. They're going to be playing very aggressive as, as we have seen. We've seen this very common KJ bot up on the roof to make sure to defend everyone as much as they can. Let's see. Critical miss line up here. Everyone playing very close with the guy they're going to be. Very slow, very methodical here. You said they know they're at a disadvantage, so if they're going to try to get any picks, they're going to have to play very slowly this round. And KJ has this microwave set up here on the lane. They smoke off the KJ turret. That's exactly what you want to do if you're going to be pushing in here. KJ holding it. Bubs and so you get the flash out. Bubs going to be rushing out here. Be switching on the side. The microwave set up goes out. Hitting Bubs a lot. Eggs is going to get a pick on the two. Not like going to get one from behind. And now it is just Critical Miss and McLovin on site to defend a 2v4 with McLovin at 1 HP. The spike down, alts do go online, the flash is here, they blind the Reyna, who's not pushing on the site. Egg is on lane for free, the blind goes out. Critical Miss trying his best, and that's gonna be McLovin shut down! Critical Miss, the last one alive, is gonna also be shut down by Egg with hit 4k out of his own. Marietta getting shut down here early, that's gonna pick on that KJ. What? That is a casualty they're willing to take there. You need to see Concordia again playing this very aggressively. Neither of neither person that were rushing on the site were able to hit the door to stop Egg from spraying at them. And again, these omen smokes. If that was a brimstone, both of those smokes would have went down and market would not have been a problem. We're going to continuously see this game that omen smokes are going to be an issue. They're not good enough for what they need them to be, especially as only a single omen, where you can only smoke so much. Okay, just set up to take control of all of mid. As long as this bot is here, they no longer have to watch mid. Critical Miss getting completely flashed by the machine on this KO. Gonna be throwing the Molly to stop the advance and single out bugs into the corner. They're breaking door. Make sure I'm going to push in the machine. Looking to peek out of this smoke here. Shoots a little. Doesn't get much. So where's it go? They still have mid control. We're going to see our work. Well, as it goes in the tree, the machine, and Spicy Cilantro going to be butting heads here. That's going to be Spicy Cilantro, catches him, Listen but doesn't quite understand where he is. It's going to see a lot of damage being taken by the KO. A of absolute flood in the mid, but we're going to see Bubs going to be able to take this duel with the... Spike down, oh my mid. Goodness. The mid brawl. 
Now it's a 2v4 30 in seconds favor left. of Concordia. They have to go. That's the alt for the Phoenix. They have to run away from it. They can no longer contest that. That's going to be a Marshall shot. And Bob's going to be shot from behind. Pushing through anyways. Gets completely blinded. Can't stop Meatball. Going to be blinding him down. And that's going to be another win for Concordia this map. And that's how I think they just played too slowly. Damn, this is Lost the fight in mid, and they ran out of time. They had to rush over to site A, and it just didn't work. I mean, they didn't hit, they didn't realize that the, the KO was hiding, and they were just able to flank from behind once they moved through. Yes, the 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 flank there in mid, so the, the problem with being able to leave that turret there is that you feel safe in mid. So no one was really checking that corner for that omen. So he was able to play there and just swing out and just get an easy 1v1 and get a kill and get the pick and then someone swung to refrag him with that you just have to play more as a team there if you are Maria that, that blind is going to be deadly that has to be bubs going down nothing you can do he's fully blinded there that is why you run omen on this map four blinds like that but with that it is again on defense this is better for them McLovin, not going to be able to put down the smokes he wants, only is able to put down oh, one, yeah, and down, critical beat. miss is going to get gunned down. McLovin, looking at the flank here. Slowly. Shadows traveling. Smoking off mid, being able to rotate into A. What? Taking the straight into B, they don't know that the Phoenix has slotted himself here. And that's gonna Fight be him down. going down, but that's gonna be Cilantro trading him out. Cilantro slowly lurking up, gets the Phantom in his hands, exactly what he's Taku and Spicy on their own, trying their best. They're completely surrounded like piranhas. And they kind of swing out, tries to get the one stuck, and gets the refrag, but then he gets fragged out himself. Marietta at the moment really I'll on the down. back step then, has needs to get the advantage here somewhere. It's gonna be able to buy guns, but this. needs to be able to pip, get these rounds pivotal at the moment. We see Reyna at the money cap. Well, this is like if they this is gonna be a critical round for them because we see the state of their econ and if they lose this one, they're gonna have absolutely nothing going into the next round and maybe it would take a couple rounds to even get some credits back. So this is where they're gonna to have to make a play if they want to stay in this match. Can't agree with you more. Right now, they have to win this round. This is a necessary win round. If they lose this round, the eco goes straight in the gutter. Bubbles is found out. This Phoenix is very patient. And that's going to be Spicy Cilantro getting the first pick. It's going to be the go button for mid here. Just... Oh, gets a pick Will mid. Exactly what he needs. Bubbles is going to able to get two. An insane movement play. Able to completely dodge the bullets of the other Phoenix. That is exactly what Marietta needs. That is a 2v5 situation. The flash goes out. The bot doesn't quite get anything that he's looking for. Taku's able to hit the door. One no enemy remaining. Yet. Critical miss. Gets a pick and retrades out Cilantro. The last person is holding in their spawn. I and think he might have just conceded because it's a 1v4. He knows that... There's just not much he can do. He might try to take his time to see if he gets a pick, but he might just be looking to save. At the moment here, this is an absolute terrible play by Concordia. Right now, you need to rush onto site and get as many kills as you can. If you look at the econ right now, oh, he does have an operator. Fair enough. I didn't check that he has an op. He's just going to save the op here. Yep. You're going to see the machine just saving the op. That's completely fine. But if he had a Vandal, what you do here, you rush onto site. You see that all of your players have so much money. You run onto site, get as many picks, force Marietta to not be able to buy the next round and have no guns. Yes, you lost the round because maybe you only got one and died, but then they only have three vandals to your five. At the moment, mathematically, it would just be better for the machine to run in and try to do more damage. But again, with buying the operator, there is that to be said where you can't just waste the op. So, so this is exactly what Marietta needed to stay in this game. So now we see Spicy Cilantro and Bubs have their ultimates ready. Taku almost has his ult ready. They have everything they need. So now it's just going to be a matter of who's better at the gunfights, who's better at using their utility. 
Truly right here, spicy cilantro is gonna go on, maybe get a pick here, main, and it's going to then instantly yeah. put down his alt right into that corner you see right in front of you. Put down his alt, take all of sight, plant on sight, play for lineups, and there we go. The alts are gonna be coming out, Bubs here, trying to make space for his team. Gonna really get a pick wow in the midst of a smoke. What an insane play, that opens it up, as we see, as I said, KJ Alt goes straight down, pushes up only into one tiny corner of the site, they know that it's there, so they put it down, puts some Molotovs down, puts up the turret, top Q with an amazing pick there, you will kill him down, area is cleared out, but now it's gonna be Concordia's time to flood on the site, or playback, we're gonna be going on to Critical Miss here, gonna be playing under in hell. Not to play here to hear it. They play two in their boom bot. The alarm bot goes out, and now at the moment they're one way. Anyone who's lurking here is going to be going out here, but it's going to be Bob's pulling the angle on the critical miss. Can sit down. Talking with another pick. Talking. Oh, Bob's. Bob's at. Just fumbles the bag there. It's going to be machine going down with his operator, McLovin, picking that up for his teammate, Bob's, who is going to be. Very happy to have an operator in his hands. That's going to be a timeout starting on the side of Concordia. They're really using these timeouts. That's very interesting to use it when they did because they, they're still up 4-2, to two, but they decide to call the timeout now to try to disrupt Marietta's momentum. At the moment, if Marietta is on the terror like they are at the moment, I believe what they're doing is uh, trying to figure out like how to use these alts at the moment. But as we see, Nathlek needs an alt orb. They get an alt orb, they alt, they win the round. That's just how Phoenix alt works at this level of play. You're able to play off of that Uto. And as we saw with Bubs, he ulted, they won the round. Yeah, because he got a huge pick while using that alt, and that's what allowed the team to enter the, the site. Precisely. So they're probably discussing how they're going to get this Phoenix, their, his ult point here, and how they're going to stop these um, operator plays and how to stop Marietta's momentum, as you said. At the moment, again, if Concordia loses, they're going to be put onto a low buy, which is very bad for them. It's worth noting that Critical Miss almost has his ultimate ready, and he might be able to use that to suppress the Phoenix. That could be... He could, he'd have I to get it this. off before the Phoenix ults. Truly, the Phoenix can, you know, when, when he's suppressed in his ult, it doesn't really do much. Imagine if you're a Phoenix and you ult and your ult gets cancelled by a knife. That would be the worst feeling ever. So thankfully the shot's not in the game, but we're gonna see the operator plays from Bubs here. Is he gonna peek mid? No one wants to contest his line of sight at the moment. A lot of util being used here on B. Flash goes out catwalk. Now we're gonna be seeing an engage here from Marietta. A lot of shots being traded through the smoke. Are you see Bubs again? Oh, looking mid here. The Phoenix is so close to being peaked. Spicy Cilantro gets a kill. That missed shot. He doesn't miss. He does actually hit the shot and stops that Phoenix ult. That's exactly what they need there. Now Marietta has no fear of dying to this Phoenix ult. Slow as it goes. Going Putting up. off this wall, cutting off that angle, knows Shoot. the Phoenix can be there. That's going to be the ult you were talking about. Critical misses ult, now they're just going to flood right on the A. Critical miss, pulls his knife out, trying to knife Meatball. That's not how that works. Thankfully, he has a second life here. Going to be able to get the plane down and res about the same time. Oh, talking, kind of just looking at him. Okay, buddy, how you doing? I'll get you that res in a moment. And McLovin is actually going to go down heaven here. Thank you. As the team is rotated back on, and it's going to be critical miss. Next time, taking Mike. that res with open arms and getting the pick for his team that they needed there. And now Marietta, there's where the momentum is shifting. That ult was crucial. We see that the Phoenix got his ult completely shut down. That is exactly what you needed there. Bob's with this operator. Yes, he didn't get a kill, but he did stop the ult. That, that was still important. huge. I mean, that that was just as effective as a kill. And now we see here, the low buy we were talking about. Yeah, we're seeing Taku's got his ultimate ready. We got McLovin going to be able to teleport if need to. And it looks like the Pioneers are going right for Site B. Cilantro playing a very oh, aggressive. You see that the KJ is slotted in here. Cilantro not making a lot of... Oh, he knows. He knows. He knows. The gig is out. Critical miss with the headshot. Trying to hide from the prowling eyes of the Pioneers. 
And we see peeking in with the flash. We're gonna see Bubs getting the operator gets shut down by a stinger as a swarm of everyone is from Concordia going into garage here. Now we're gonna see that they're gonna have a defense against the operator. Spice of Cilantro gets a pick on the op user. I'm pretty sure unless they give it to the machine. Let's see. Stopping it there. Critical miss playing slow here, trying to play for a cross. Hear a lot of footsteps. They're flashing flash out back. here, but there's a flash for critical miss. Flashing them. Not able to push here, and they're playing very good cross singles here. To suppress. Has one pushed up. Taku gets egg, and that's gonna be critical miss falling down to be ball. That's gonna be McLovin with a beautiful pick there. That's gonna be the machine just holding this operator very slowly here. I think Cilantro has accepted his uh, fate. Wait. Did he DC? What? I think he DC. Did he? His PC crashed. Oh! Oh, again! Oh, you hate to see that! Healing That's what I was wondering why the machine was just standing there with the op. I'm like, he could be peeking this angle here, trying to get a little peek before he runs out, trying to run out with the op. He was kind of just standing there. I'm just like, oh, what could be happening here? Yeah, uh, that, that is unfortunate. You hate to see that happen. <laughs> But we'll just have to give it a couple minutes here to log back in. But let's talk about the current status here. It's four to. As a reminder for everyone, this is map points. Like, whoever wins this wins it all. It is now four apiece. Marietta just took the round. Although, not. Oh, Marietta's econ, really good shape. Although, we'll see that Concordia's going to get some econ back going into the next round. But. What are you seeing it for the, the next one? Uh, what I'm seeing for the next one here, um, Marietta, again, they have all their guns that they need. They have good good money to buy with. Critical Miss might be on a little bit of a dire straits on the economic side, because it's going to get bought by his team. Okay, throw the op away, McLovin. Okay, we're going to see a little bit of uh, friendly reminder, because you can't really grab the op since the timer is paused at the moment. Didn't want them getting that in Athletic. <laughs> Making sure that his team is at the fairest of Can't, can't steal their, their weapons. Yeah, no, technically you would not be able to get that in the round if it weren't paused, so you can't really go and grab it. Mm -hmm. Even though that would be kind of funny. Like, yeah. oh no, my PC crashed. Here, let me grab the op. Oh, he reconnected. Let's go and get it. Yeah, but okay, you can't do that. that. You see, just, you know, um... Taku and McLovin running laps here, you know, trying to get that gamer fit on, making sure, get their reps in, running around the map, doing their little marathon. You know, it's hard to game for like two hours straight. These guys have been in, in intense focus trying to pull out this W for the team. So while unfortunate it is for there to be a disconnect, this kind of gives everyone a chance to take a mental break, maybe talk things over. I mean, it's kind of like an unofficial timeout when you think about it. Uh, but just as we were saying, like, we've been playing for about two hours now and with very little breaks in between so that it can be mentally strenuous. So having the ability to kind of breathe that sigh of relief, talk things over, just kind of helps give the endurance they need to finish out this game because who knows how long this is going to go. We've, we've gone to games before where there might have been like seven or eight overtime uh, rounds. I, I still think back at the LSU Shreveport match uh, last year, uh, right before spring break, and I think that was almost four hours, maybe like three and a half hours actually. But it was just went all three games went to overtime for like the first and third maps. It was very mentally exhausting for everyone. That's one that after that game, you're not getting out of bed in the morning. You are going to be sleeping in. Well, that was the Definitely. Friday of spring break. So some Friday people went home right after that, too. Yeah, I would not be able to, to have like, the, the ability to be able to just focus for that long is just an insane feat. And that's why you really have to. To be, um, and I was slightly amazed of the amount of time that goes by and the closeness of these games. And as you see, as the games go on, either the wits get quicker or they get a little bit duller. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Again, Taku really running around the map here, man. Really getting his laps and getting familiarized with the map to see everything. 
Yeah. Jumping over on the catwalk, walking around, falling in McLovin. Yeah, he's getting his steps in for today. Gotta get his steps in. They never said they had to be real steps or video game steps, but he's getting his steps in. Yes, he is. Now he's running around with his pet dog. His pet bird. So as a reminder for everyone, while we are waiting for the, the PC to reboot and everyone get connected, uh, tomorrow our League of Legends team will be playing against Clear University at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And then on Saturday, we're going to have several matches for you. Our Smash team will be playing against Muskingum at 10 a.m. Uh, our League of Legends team is playing against someone. I want to say it's Concordia. I'm pretty at, sure it's Concordia. I think it's Concordia. Uh, at 11, we won't be able to stream it, but we will try to keep you updated with how that's going. Our Valor team will be back at New World. They'll be playing against OAC rival Muskingum. And then at 3 o'clock, we'll, our Fortnite team will debut as part of the Naystar League traditional split open one where they will be playing four different uh, uh, free-for-alls to accumulate as many points as they can to try to qualify for the traditional build championship, which will be near the beginning of October. So we got quite a bit going on for the next couple of days. We're going to see um, Omen really showing off his uh, throwing arm here, lobbing these smokes up into the stratosphere. Uh. Yeah, there you go. Just, just, just watch him throw the, uh... Well, he has to wait four more seconds to be able to do this. Nice, you know, this map, honestly, whenever there's not a lot of gunfight, there's a really nice-looking map. But, uh, you know, usually we can't really stand here and appreciate the map or Omen's throwing arm. Trying to see if there's an ETA, how long it's taken for him to reconnect, because... I think last time he was able to get on right about now. Oh, oh hey, there ask and you shall receive. There we go. I'm very glad the machine can reconnect and we can restart there this you and you're get saying right the, back into it. You're saying the map is beautiful and here it is. Yeah, all the explosions and everything now. They are saying that they are ready. Match timer two off. And now we're back into the game. Everyone in seeing a little bit of the tracers of like everyone's visuals here. Yes. Dude, was that enabled? Uh, you you enabled enable? it V, I believe. What? You 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 enabled the vision with one of the buttons. Do we want to enable it? I mean, you can. Let's, it's fine. Let's just keep it in there. Let's see how. Uh, let's see what it does. I think I've Wait. seen like VCT do it sometimes. Where you they do whenever like they're showing like crossfires and see how good they are. Like as we can see right now. Tells you how much I know about the controls in spectator mode. No, oh, I think I know less. <laughs> and we're gonna be seeing Bubs with an operator of his own. He can't pick one up, so I'll just purchase one. That's gonna be a lot of gunfight from Tile here. Gonna be forcing out the Omen. We see that Marietta is slowly pushing up a main. It's gonna be going back to the spike. And get it. Everything. The turret is catching something that's going to be taken out. Egg taking a little bit of poke damage, getting his shield strip. We're seeing that at the moment both teams are in a very good eco, but if Concordia loses this one, that's going to be very bad for their eco. And you see Egg is really trying to get an angle here, but Marietta isn't giving them anything. This Kale lurking tree could serve as an issue. And now it's only 30 seconds left in the round, and that much has happened. Marietta's gonna have to make a move soon. 30 seconds left. Flash comes out from the machine. They want information. Now it's gonna be bugs for the flash. The dog goes out, and now it's gonna be an explosive execute. The wall goes up, but Netflix shuts down critical miss. You see them trying to explode out of the smokes, but no util was forced. It's only 10 seconds left in the round. And the spike can go down. Toffee's taking a lot of poke damage. He's going to go down. Player and that's going to be a complete wipe from Concordia on to Marietta. Marietta is not going to be able to secure that operator or this round. I see he's going to get at least one pick onto their eco, which is good for them. That was, they were just kind of sitting around and not like, doing anything. Yeah. It's very unfortunate because Marietta really should have been able to 
aggress and really needed to force Yuto, but as they saw, as soon as they started to try to push Sight, all the Yuto was just shoved right down their throat. We saw Molotov, we saw Flashes, we saw Leers, we saw everything just right down their neck, so they couldn't really do much. Placing Swarm Grenade. Swarm Grenade out to try to flush out the machine early, and it does Swarm work. Grenade out. Can no longer sit there, Bubs, going for his ultimate here. Flash, Flash out. There it goes. The smoke is there. Breaks the turret. He needs this one. The machine gets Careful spicy now. cilantro first off. Bubs is going to force him out, but there's the microwave. The KJ is going to be able to get three. Spike down, B. The microwave setup is too strong, and that's going to be critical miss with one. Trying to do a little bit of damage, but then gets shut down. That little timeout for that mental reset, nine of gold the senses. Marietta has to get their momentum back up. What you hate to see about technical timeouts is that they do serve for a complete mental reset. In that sense is that it does stop the momentum from the other team. The cogs need to skip, start rolling again. The steam train has to keep going. And we do see the Bubs does have his ultimate ready, Let's so that's going to be critical in this round to try to get some value and at least try to get a pick or make a play with something. Bubs and Critical Miss are going to be the playmakers here. Bubs instantly going in. Run it back. Forces everyone off the side. Going to be hitting the door. I'm going to be running through it. Sees that it's done. Gets in no information from that, but does take sight for free. Taku getting it down, and now we're gonna see the retake, and Concordia has all the ults in the world to do free so. Suppress. So you're gonna be suppressed. The cage is gonna come and hit that lockdown whenever she can. There it is, lockdown here. McLovin in the back here. We're gonna be seeing Bubs trying to run away from it. Meatball getting a pick on the spicy cilantro, and they're gonna be having to play back here. McLovin trying to get one before he has to TP out. He's gonna be very early there now we're gonna see the defense comes out tries the pick there and the defuse is gonna be good taku can't go in and do anything how unfortunate for marietta seven to four at the moment the tides have Last turned round before the switch yeah the issue we Don't saw there anything. was Last chance like, to use they stuff. got the spike planted but it wasn't very well secured because of the killjoy ult so they had the retreat Concordia was able to retake the site and there was just nothing Marietta could do about it. And now, last round before the swap, we see four ultimates ready for Concordia, so they just need to use them or lose them. So this is gonna be a very difficult round for the Pioneers. We saw this momentum shift turn it on its head and there's Bub. That's not what you wanna see. The op gets a pick, the machine doing the work with it. We see, and that's gonna be N and Athlete absolutely dominating Spicy Cilantro with his ult. Couldn't swing to recontest, and that's going to be a three to five situation already. This was a normal round, you just save. And that's going to be Taku getting a pick that he needs. Needs that for his team. And now we're going to see slowly McLovin. Can see some dangerous angles being taken. I believe McLovin can be seen. We can see the tracer being able to catch his leg there, and Egg gonna take him out. See, it's just critical miss and Taku left in this last, last round. Player standing. Spike carrier is gonna go down mid. seven to four at the moment. Critical miss has to pull out a miracle to make this even. And a miracle oh, has dude. begun with one pick there. It's now a three v one. See them all running through mid, stacked on top of each other. Critical Miss has to go for the spike. 30 seconds he sees left. one. Doesn't quite get the pick. That's the operator. Hits him a lot. Only 30 seconds left to recover the spike. Yeah, but the spike and is way on the other side of the map. I don't think he's going to have time to go get it. He's got to go for the picks. Time. Critical Miss would have to be running from right now with his knife out to even get there. And that's not even counting planking. That's just to get the spike. So at the moment, the final Ten seconds last left. round is going to go, before this half is going to go to Concordia. And there it is. Concordia, 8 to 4, going into the second half. Switching sides. Activating kill mode. That's a joke. Kill mode is done. Spicy cilantro having a different setting here. Placing a different setup than we saw the K-Jump from the side. Placing 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 side
in about the same type of setting of the microwave, just putting it more into the choke instead of on lane. You see a 2-3 split being played here by Marietta. Going to be trying, actually more like a 1-1-3 a one, one, split, where it's going to be it's going to be the KJ on the B site, Omen in mid, and the rest three defenders on A. And it's going to be a mid push from Concordia. Absolutely stomping through mid. That's gonna be the glove and scene. He gets a little bit of damage and spices Alondra gets one. Critical miss here, trying to go for some frags. Doesn't quite get a pick. Hits egg really hard. The machine Last takes down Bugs. Machine takes down Taku. Lurking mid, and that's gonna be critical miss. Very low here. Spike planted. Seen in this position before, he couldn't quite do it last round. You're not gonna save a ghost. So he has to get this pick on the machine. He knows he has to be here. Checking every angle he possibly can and lines up perfectly right into the machine's crosshair. And that's gonna be nine to four at the moment in favor of Concordia. Let's see? That Marriott is having a very hard time defending here against Concordia's a very aggressive attack with these two duelists. Machine. These two duelists are just really able to get onto site and explode onto site as quickly as they can. See that they're probably gonna do it again. Again, these almond smokes don't lend themselves to really be that good defensively. To suppress. To suppress. Taku might have to get his dog out here. The flash goes through. There's the smoke. The leer. And that's going to be Taku getting shot at and taken down by Meatball. Meatball going to heal back to full HP. And that's going to be Bugs trying to get a miracle play. Gets one with his classic. Tries to get two. We're going to get put down. McLovin gets another. It's a 3v2 at the moment. But there are no guns. For Marietta to get a hold of. They both only have a classic here at the moment. Actually, a stinger on the side of McLovin. He's going to try to do something with it. Let's see, Spicy Cilantro taking heavy control, but two are playing hell. One is playing main. It's a great crossfire. You can see McLovin trying to get me down. He's going to get picked out an egg with a 4K. Shutting down Marietta's chance back here on that second round. And now. Here we see Marietta on their first buy round, and we're gonna see both team McLovin with the Odin. Gonna be Mick. Oh. Just gonna see Marietta absolutely pulling away the treasury. Every penny, every nickel is being put into this buy here. You to see how much they can do with it. Okay, we're gonna see critical miss going here. That's a cilantro. Cheers them, they're all rushing mid. How is he gonna defend this off? He's just one man. He gets one, he gets two, he gets three! Spice is a with a 3k! That's as much as you can ask for! And now it's gonna be critical miss and the rest of the team to clean up the rest. The machine is low, remaining. Meatball gets Taku, the machine goes down, Bubs with the flash, and Bubs with the kill into the final two. That's a shift in the momentum, and that's going to be enough for Maria to go on to the next round here with a threat of OT. Not threat of OT, but a threat of match point incoming. 10 to 5 at the moment, Maria to have to win 5 in a row right now to get it even. It's not impossible. Momentum can shift, and I believe it has. An ult for Bubs would be essential for this W. We see a Reina ult coming online. Bubs with his ult and cilantro. Only two more points till he gets this ult that he needs. We're going to see an A rush here. Not quite a rush, but an A push is what we're going to be seeing. The orb gets tapped. Smoke comes out, but it's not a great smoke. But smoke can still leave up. 
and things that's going to be critical miss being taken up with a lurking reina that's going to be a call for a rotation on to b or at least to mid bubs still trying to lurk here almost gets caught out but i think it's going to be again it's going to be off to cilantro and cilantro gets shut down three men looking at him and that's going to be bubs not able to take that Cheeky lurk he was looking for is going to go down. And now it's up to talk you in a 1v5 scenario. And he sees the bot be placed down. It shoots at him. That's a call for Concordia. But there is Spike someone planted. here. Can talk you get the pick he needs. Oh, he goes to reload as soon as the machine peaks. The timing of that is so unfortunate. Two rounds away from match point for Marietta in favor of Concordia here. Timeout starting for Marietta. Whew. Yeah, we've seen that. I mean, the, the Pioneers did pretty well in that previous, the, the round beforehand, but Concordia working their way back. Marietta's got to find a way to disrupt the momentum. It all came back to that disconnect that seemed to disrupt Marietta's momentum and gave Concordia a chance to reset. So now Marietta is gonna to have to find a way to disrupt the, the moment if they're gonna stay in this game. We do see that Bob's does have his ultimate ready. Spicy Cilantro almost has his as well. So it's gonna be a matter of utilizing those alts to make some plays to try to uh, claw their way back into this map. The only issue is that Marietta is on a very low buy at the moment. We see McLovin with only 1,900 credits to his name. He can barely even buy a sheriff without going into a substantial amount of of bad eco so now we're going to see that 11 to 5 six rounds need to be won by marietta without dropping one basically this is going to be a very high task but a very doable task for marietta with these alts online if they're going to be able to use them in a good fashion it will help them achieve this spicy cilantro either has to fight for a pick or fight for this orb here and we're going to also have to rely on bubs for this ult, but not right now because of how many weapons that they have. They don't have any good guns to use a bubs ult. I know what they need. They need an Odin. They need an Odin. They had an Odin. Oh, it didn't work. It did not work. I'm going to see. It looks like the, they want to go mid here again. It's going to be bubs. Moving down this angle, it's gonna, they're going to peek out and Bubs is going to peek back, gets hit through the wall for the Vandal headshot. Can swing this again and Egg comes back for more and takes down Bubs. Bubs is unable to get what he's looking for and that's going to be mid conceded. You hear a lot of clomp in mid, the alarm box triggered, Spicy Cilantro going into an area where he can get the most benefit from his gun. Gonna see him peek out and try to get a pick, but Meatball is able to swing with the better weapon. Spike McLovin down, gets mid. one. Critical miss is left up here seconds on left. B to try to defend this push, and it's gonna be Taku with one. He pushes down, he can get a better gun here. He they don't know that they're not even going to acknowledge that Taku is here. They're gonna get the spike down. A critical miss has a vandal, picked it up from a dead body, and trying to get a call right in. He does. That's big. A 2v2 at the moment. Spike planted. Taku lurked mid and got a, a phantom. So this is massive. Making a lot of noise. To me, both are gonna be detected here. Flash goes out. No one's looking. That's a cross. That's going to be Egg with a 4K again. Shutting down both Critical Miss and Taku. Match point. Match point for Marietta. You mean for Concordia. For Concordia. Match point for this game that Marietta is playing. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Match point for Concordia. If Concordia Save. wins this one, they are going to win at the moment. But Marietta, seven in a row to tie up this game and they do not have the guns to back it up kill all your opponents you need to see what they can do here they're gonna have to do some very very good gunplay if they're gonna stay in here Shutting them down. 
We're gonna see the brown starting up here. Knife destroyed. It's gonna be them spamming down mid. They have the better gun, so they're allowed to do it. And that's gonna be a very preemptive KJ ult here, completely shutting down that. But there's not gonna be much here. He sees the ring mid. But he hears Bub. Bub hears a lot. A blinds gets the one and gets a, a two. The trades get out, and now it's a three v three. But in the favor of Concordia, still based on their guns. But it's gonna be McLevin gets a pick and be able to pick up Spike a vandal. Planted. This is massive. Now McLevin slowly picking up here. They're going to be able to get. Hey, uh, only McLovin has guns at the moment. He's going to be using his ult to try to wrap around and get on the site in a better way. That's dangerous for McLovin. Oh, the timing. Blind. He's, He's right out. Blind him out. He's got to take her out. He can't be rushing like this. And now it's up to one person. He rushed like that. Didn't wait for his team to get into a cross. And that's going to be... Spice is on trail with one. He needs to go quick here. It's up to the spike. He tries to blind. And that's gonna be Spice is on trail. Right now. Uh, does he have with enough time? Oh, he has enough time. Just enough to hold it down. And that's gonna oh, be all. Oh my goodness. From Spice is on trail with five HP to his name. It's He's done it before. He'll do it again. The clutch god, Spicy Cilantro. One. I think there's like one or two seconds left in that. Like. Just keeps the pioneers alive. Oops. Wrong, but. Keeps the pioneers alive with that. And again, what's terrible is that Marietta bought as much as they could that last round just so they could have a chance. And now again, we see Marietta on a very bad eco, but they need these kills yeah. and need these guns so they can actually compete. Yeah, they don't have a choice. They have to go all in because they lose one round, it's over. So they have to play every single round like it's last because it, it literally would be Jump's their last. Over. You're dead. And now the you push in to be the ult spam goes out and it is up Country critical miss. Concord is trying to go all in with one group as a, yeah, they're just trying to use safety with numbers to try to get picks. They're going to go all in site B. Mary is going to let them plant, but now they're going to have to work on retaking it. Spike but planted. they don't have a whole lot of time you since that spike's been planted. And they don't have the guns to do this. And also, the KJ off this is deadly. Will that, will that KO Molly it can't kill the KJ off? There's the... Spicy Cilantro gets a pick though! Two players detained! Are those the two with guns? No! McLovin! Can go in here, he needs his pick to win the game! McLovin gets the kill, it's 1v1 at the moment with Last 1 HP to Nathak's Nat name! He needs to get this pick and get it quick, he needs to do something! McLovin, no he has time! He needs a kill, that's gonna be the game! He, he had to go for it because um, the, the time was running out. That's gonna be GG's from Marietta and Concordia. Concordia just barely going above the top 13 to 6. At that moment, Marietta made it very competitive on that one. Egg had an absolute smurf show there. He just completely dominated that lobby. We saw him with 4Ks multiple rounds in a row. Yeah, we saw that just very well executed by Concordia. And I mean, a lot of it was just that mo that one disconnect while Marietta won the round. It just kind of disrupted momentum. Concordia was able to recompose themselves, get back into it. And we saw a couple of good plays from the Pioneers, but they were just too far behind to get caught back, uh, just be able to catch up. Right at the end, there, there was no way that they were able to um, really get back up into the place where they actually buy guns and able to actually compete against Concordia and that Con Concordia had that ball rolling they could buy for three rounds if they lost every single round. Yeah, they would They would have had to have a couple of like flawless or near flawless rounds to be able to get back to the, the full buy. But because they, it was getting very clutch with his 1v1s, like even if Marietta did win that last round, they would still have been at a big disadvantage just because everyone else died in there and they'd be back in the same spot that they were in the next round. That was a very losing round, losing game right there. And we see that even Bubs did not even do that great that game. That momentum shift really just took a hit onto Marietta, and that's going to be something that they have to work on at the moment but i will have to say with that being said the clutches were amazing to see regardless of the outcome of the score the amount of clutches that we got to see and we got to witness 
was just amazing to see. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, still overall very good play. It just was not enough at the end. But that is going to be it for us today. As we said earlier, tomorrow we'll be back with our League of Legends team going up against Cleary. And then on Saturday, we have four different matches starting at 10 a.m. So please make sure to come back for that. Chat, please be sure to give a hand to Zach here for this excellent commentary. I think he's doing a phenomenal job talking about what's going on here at Valorant. We're very excited to see some of the other stuff we've been commentating throughout the semester. But for all the latest updates with what's going on with Marriott College Esports, please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shoutouts again to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor for Marriott College Esports. Shoutouts to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Shoutouts to our other partners as well with Incrediware for providing uh, the, the athletic sleeves for our players. Thank you to MSI for providing some equipment for us. Thank you to uh, Buy Blue Light. They're going to be uh, helping us with acquiring some blue light glasses for our students. And there'll be more information on how you can get your own Buy Blue Light glasses in the near future. Uh, and also, uh, just a shout out to... Which one am I missing? Oh, got Oh, got Of course. Elgato with the, the cameras so that we can be able to show the player's perspective. All right. So thank you all also for your follows. Thank you for your subscriptions. We hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.